I heard I heard an alert, but I Quentin has just resubbed forty eight months. That's a lot of months. That is a solid four years. I once knew a guy. Uh, he says, I hope this game tells me everything through the audio. Thanks, work, for keeping me late. Oh, this late? Oh, my God. Got it. Yeah, it's your Eastern time. Good mm-hmm. lordy. I mean, people got to get their internet hooked up, I guess, and somebody's got to do it. Yeah. I don't know why it's got to be Quentin. Quentin, they're saving the day. All Thank right. you for your service, Quentin. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. You said you knew a guy once what? Oh, that was it. Okay. Um, It was more funny in my head. Gotcha. Okay. Can you see and hear the game? I can, in fact. Oh, great. Speed run. Speed walk. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so I think uh, last time we were trying to get the cart oh, to go on that upper track to go on that upper track and we realized that that ain't going to happen. Did we realize or could we just not find the button? Well, so one, <clears throat> one, we can't get the, the cart back up Two, there's no way for the cart to get on that track. Because uh, this 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 rail here on the ground is the only way out of that um, like rail house. So go go up to the tr- uh, I just want to see. Oh yeah, it doesn't even connect. Where right. does the other end of that then go then? Because one end goes off into the track that we can't follow on foot because it's only tr- uh, rail. It just kind of the- hits that end there. So then we uh, need to come at that track from oh. the other end, I guess. No, I'm wrong. It's just piled with junk. Can we move that junk? That's a couple of other tra- uh That's not junk. Those are other mm. rail cars, I think. Right, and they're piled up. They're piled up. Yeah, it's like if we can get the get the load of moving. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's if see. That's even the answer. Right. Let's see if there's anything else. And then there's this guy. Could be done. Have we been back here? We have. A very long ago. Oh, this is where we, like, unblocked up the water. I guess we're done with that, huh? I guess. That's strange. (coughs) Huh. It straight up does not allow me to interact with that anymore. I guess I guess just because the only thing to do up there was to get the water flowing. I guess. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> uh, there is this. There's a stairway there. Okay, I want. Well. I want to. I want to see what this side of that blockage looks like. Okay. That's the walkway up there. Yeah. And then there's this just kind of stuff piled up. And I I can't really interact with it, but it's obviously too heavy for me to move. Are those pull chains pullable? Uh, or are like, those even pull chains? They oh no, they're like meat hooks. Yeah, I thought they were it, like one of those chains where you could like turn mm-hmm. something with it, <clears throat> like a like a um a hoist system. Right. So we never did figure out what that was about either. The thing behind you right now. Right. I I'm thinking this is some sort of fuel supply slash power station. Something to that effect. And from best I can tell is that these kind of hoses will convey whatever this thing is the source of to what where we want it to go. Jam. Because, uh, yeah, along this uh, railway, there are these junction points where they clearly attach. 
what is the end, the broken end of that one that's hanging over the rail look like? Exactly like that. It looks exactly so it looks, like those. So we need to find tubes. Right. And I, I have not seen anything like that laying around. Maybe, maybe in the junkyard. I was just going to say, maybe in the junkyard we might be able to fashion something together. Um, but as far as this, like, rail house, I can't really do anything anything more than I currently am. Yeah, I think we need to come back to this at a different time. But are we done with the laser rail car, though? I don't think so. I, I think that's going to keep being a useful tool at least a couple more times. I, I'd be surprised if we never touch that again. Um, there's also this floating thing. Is that what's making all that noise? Uh, no. Oh, no, Th it's this. This is humming a little bit. But, like... Does that look like the front of the rail... The laser thing? The cannon on the laser? Uh, the thing to your... Well, now behind you, now to your left. Hey, Meg. Uh, turn... Hey, Meg. Look, look to your left a little bit. <clears throat> now look to your right a little bit. Oh, are you talking about this thing? Yeah, that's the laser, and that's what's on the front of the, the rail car. You're right. It does have these like blue streaks on it. If you look down yeah, there, yeah, that's like that's like the other technology. You know, the technology that the laser the laser destroys. It, that's what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me go back down to my bike or a uh, bike cart. Or maybe it's like a casing that's on the laser downstairs. That's what I was... And it came off of this one. Yeah, like, like that's the template or the prototype or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a casing. Or maybe... Yeah, there's like a, a yeah. plate. So the housing, was, yeah. I guess it was like removed from the one upstairs. I keep forgetting that space is not jump. Yep. Yeah, exactly. If you took the thing that's hanging above it and then put that on here, you would have another of these like... Fully, fully created ones. Fully co uh, complete quad phaser. Right. Uh, okay. Let's let's backtrack a little bit. Go to our water place. Do we sure have an inventory? N not that I am aware of. I don't. I don't know that I'm carrying anything at all except for information. Well, if it's anything like mist, it would just be what your cursor is. Right. <laughs> you, you you can carry one object, and it's and the one you, you have up, in front of you. <laughs> and if you pick up second object, the first, first object you're holding gets teleported back to where it was. <laughs> yeah. Beans can't, are ready. Can't interact with this. Dude, I remember all. using one of those in Boy Scouts, just making, like, fucking beans. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right, right, right. I remember the milk thing. I'm kind of nostalgic for, like, the time in Boy Scouts, but I do not want to do any of that again. I want to I wanna pal around with a couple of kids that were my age. Uh -huh. I don't want to, like, make fires and go camping and pitch right. tents. I, I heard somebody describe, like, you're not longing for the things you did. You're longing for the... The... Interactions with people. Or, like, the phase of your life that you were at, like, when you had... Yeah free time and and less obligations yeah. and stuff like that those coincide with that time but they are they're not the thing that you're nostalgic about the the work part of boy scouts was not fun <laughs> yeah but but the fun parts of boy scouts was awesome right uh-huh so you just want to rent a cabin and do fun stuff outside for a weekend? I want to rent a cabin and then do fun stuff outside during the day on like a crisp November morning. Mm -hmm. And then when it starts to get hot later in the afternoon, go back inside. Mm -hmm. um, and then at night have a bonfire. Yeah. The, the wires shouldn't be suspended in time. I think they're... I think that object, whatever it is, was displaced here, and those cables aren't cables. They're like rigid, like, and they're just kind of like, hanging from like where they lines. originally were. Yeah. From whatever they, they were initially attached to, they're just kind of 
pointing at. Okay, I could I could go with that. That's what I'm guessing. I'm willing to be wrong about it, because honestly, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I feel like I go faster diagonally than I do forward. I think because there's like a slight fisheye. Maybe so. And it just looks like it out of the, like the edges of the screen. We've never been here. We have not. Oh, I'm almost Ooh, certain. Of the it. code. The code. Oh, what was the code? We had a picture of it. We do have a picture of it's it. It's the address backwards. 6341, I'm going to say. I, I do not. 6341. Kabang. Wow, look at that. Look at the big brain on Clayton. Six, three, four, one. <laughs> Heck did yeah, you, dude. Did you did you do it? Did we you, did it. Right. it. It glowed green. Okay. I was expecting the door to open. Are they trying to chisel their way out of here? No, we got a music accompaniment. Yeah, they've displaced somebody's living room in here. Oh, wow, yeah. Is there a flashlight? Uh, there is not. The blue book! Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Hunrith. Please give us a bit of information about you so we can get to know you a little better. Name. Can I click? I cannot click. Date you came from. Please use four-digit year. Four-digit year. Where, where you came from, country and city. Circumstance under which you were taken. Please note any dangers you noticed. Emptied and filed... 12,000 AH, 13,000 AH, 15,000 AH. This person came from uh, Madagascar in yeah. 2017. Samuel Caron, Manakara, Madagascar. I had just arrived and was, uh, was driving my supply truck along the coast south of Manakara when I recall being washed away and the seed appeared. Okay. 15,257, I'm going to say that says A-H, male, 61. What is A-H? I don't know. I think it's like an amperage. It, it, it seems like some kind of like power measurement. Maybe. If Emptied. I'm, I'm going to guess. Emptied and... Uh, that says emptied and filed. <laughs> Sir, she says, man, I didn't know she went under that many employees. <laughs> I think that's supposed to say emptied and filled. I, I think that he wrote it wrong. Oh. Uh, so he just says after after hundred. After hundred. Maybe so. Uh my estimation is that this is how much earth or or uh volume was displaced, like you were saying. Oh, like a like, like so not a, like a power measurement, but like a, a the, volume. Yeah, a unit of, of volume. That's that's a that's a very early guess. Just because we know we're dealing with displacement. Uh, Uzio Regenbogen, 1942. March, Lübeck, Germany. The last thing I recall is a large rumbling while I was hiding in the cellar of a vacant building. Oh, 1942. Uh-huh. I ran toward a bright light in a stairwell. 15,841 AH. Jeez, he might be better off here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. 15th, okay. Maria Gallego, 9, 9 uh, September 1988. Cozumel, Mexico. I was born. Hmm. On my boat and a bad storm. 16,023 AH, female 46. Zhang Chizu, uh, March of 2042. Portland, United States of America. Skiing, Mount Hood. 16,717. 16,000. I'll be 53 that year. 16,023. So 88 to 2042 is not a difference of 700. But that's not a time based thing. 15,227. 26 is lower, but his number is still higher. So that's not an eight, uh, like a time. Estimation. Well, we we also know that they essentially ransack all of the displaced like spheres, right? So maybe it has to do with some kind of value, mm -hmm. of like the value of the stuff that they found in the, the sections, right? Oh, here's a map. So there's a cemetery behind Farley's. We knew that. There's a take a wall. picture of this. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I'm crouch. Can I crouch? Do you crouch? All right. 
I guess you can't crouch. Fifteen. That is the that's the the robot with the dots. Yo, good job. Take a picture of that. I'm gonna take a picture. Of, nope, I hit the wrong button. Take a picture of that. Very good. We have to find good. out what that number means, and then that number is gonna be used for something else. A bang, dude. Very good observation. And I bet we're gonna find several of those. Special description. Species description. Mofang. Through ambassador seeds, the Mofang were the first non-human species humans were introduced to. And the Mofang are the people who have the technology with the red laser, right? I I genuinely don't know. Because there's there was like another thing that the different thing that made the blue lasers that destroys the red laser technology. But I don't yeah. remember who's what. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Liang was the first to call the alien a mofang. Impressed with their uh, advanced ability to imitate our sounds, movements, and mannerisms, although they have a name for themselves, their language is mostly unpronounceable by humans. As a result, and because of their mimicry abilities, communication with the mofang is primarily accomplished by their learning human languages rather than humans learning to speak, speak mofang. They have been able to learn almost every human language represented in hun in represented in Hunrith, enough to provide functional, if rudimentary, communication. The Mofang basic external morphology is remarkably human humanoid. Bilateral symmetrical tre uh, tetrapods, bipedal, he bipedal head with anterior facial features. Okay, bilateral symmetrical tetrapods. A tetrapod is like a dog. They walk on fours. I can Google it. I believe a tetrapod Tetch. walks on fours because a, a bipod would walk on twos. And a tripod is an alien from a book I read once when I was a right. kid. A tetrapod is a four-limbed vertebrate animal uh, continuing subclass of tetrapod. So yeah, of animals Bi that walk on four legs with a vertebrae. Bilateral symmetrical tetrapods. Oh, that just means they have four limbs, not that they walk on four limbs. Bipedal means they walk on, the, on twos. Got it. Okay. Okay. So would that mean humans are tetrapods technically? Yes, we are. We're four limbed vertebrates. Mm -hmm. They they are describing us bilateral symmetrical tetrapods, which means each half of our each vertical half of our body is sym roughly symmetrical to the other half. Uh, bipedal head with anterior facial features, mouth, eyes, nostrils. External features include minimal body hair and raised dorsal protrus protrusions. Dorsal would be like the nose. Uh, the spine. I can't remember what dorsal meant. I, that either means nose or spine. Dorsal protrusion. I'm googling what that means. A dor uh, a disc protrusion is a a bulging of the invertebral disc, uh, dorsally as a result of tearing. Oh, that's an injury. Um. Yeah, it's like along the spine, like a protrusion okay. along the spine. Okay, because I was thinking of a dorsal fin. That's the only thing I yeah. know that has a dorsal thing. Uh, constitution is somewhat frail due to appar due apparently to their thin and lightweight internal structure, but internal investigation has not been possible. They have been they have ample cranial space to account for a substantial brain, and their intelligence is impressive as as evidenced by their advanced technology. Well, here we go. Uh, bilateral symmetrical tetrapod. If you if this was Mass Effect, you'd be able to fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real shame. Awry. After a certain level of maturity and health of the tree, a passage opened at its base. This passage allowed contact with two additional species. The first contact was with the Awry. The first contact revealed the Awry to be a large beetle-like insect. We were unable to communicate directly with them in any way, but they appeared to have some rudimentary level of intelligence. It was Lorink Toth, who first made the journey through the heart to Keptar and named both the New World and the Inhabitants. The Arai have three distinct variants that have become to refer to as Barnacle, Beetle, and Polyarch. Although their morphology is dramatically different from human, their internal systems, like all of our neighbors, are supported by similar atmospheric composition and basic nutrients. In their Barnacle stage, the Arai are completely immobile. The Arai stay in this egg-like development state seemingly indefinitely. 
In order to hatch, they must be in proximity of a polyarch and fertilized by the beetles after a certain stage of maturity. That defies, uh, like, how, how does that thing become to be? If it must be fertilized by something that is already matured, how does that cycle begin? So those glowing bugs we're finding are the Arai then, right? I think so. The beetles Are they, sa- are they sapient? I- uh, they seem to have, wait, how do I go back? I can't. Oh, shoot. There was something about their, maybe it isn't. Oh God. How much is this? There's a lot here. How do I go hey. back? Oh, hey, mister. I click the top of it. It mentions something about their intelligence, even though they can't communicate. Um, rudimentary level of intelligence. Uh, we can't communicate with them directly in any way. <clears throat> Beetles are the eyes and ears, eyes and ears, hands and feet. With only a minimal ser- ser- nervous system of their own, they are essentially the sensory extensions of the immobile poly- polyarchs. They are able to execute simple commands, but apparently have very little in the way of individual sentience. There you go. Okay, so they're not they're not even sentient. They're just Right. They they are like just workers. Um Arai polyarchs are the intelligence and consciousness of a species, although it was obvious that there was intelligence behind the species. It wasn't until Caroline Farley began spending large amounts of, amounts of time in pro- close proximity that deeper communication began. With a room nearby, Farley was the first to communicate non verbally and learn much about oh they they like communicate like bees. It's nonverbal, um, including some historical information. The Arai species survived in their world while several other sentient species came and went. Among them, an ancient species who formed a deeper relationship with the Arai, carving temples and dwellings for them in the rocks. And later, a more recent species that took over much of their home world. This latter species was especially adept at mechanical construction, using it mostly to capture and process large flying creatures, using the beetles as bait. Hmm. I'm going to call I'm going to pronounce that villain. The final species to be discovered were the villain. The villain had been communicating with the Arai for many years through ambassador seeds, but became part of the larger community community very shortly after the Arai. With large and imposing frame and form of communi- communication based on a complex, multi-voiced, low-frequency rumble, the initial introductions were intimidating. After several attempts Emily Vidal was able to begin some rudimentary communication and began visiting the villain in Marais, which she named, on a regular basis. <clears throat> she discovered a complex and amazing society that was able to use their technology in unexpected ways. They had the ability to quickly transform their world using extruded structures based on some form of, some form of complex miniature substrate material. Unlike the other worlds, the villain sphere is scooped out of a villain resettlement group that was preparing to set off into space to find a new homeworld. This was their way of life, to put themselves into stasis and scatter themselves through the stars. As mentioned previously, their appearance is imposing, standing about nine feet tall with a distinct reptilian resemblance. They have six limbs, two muscular legs and arms, and a smaller set of arms. They control every aspect of their technology with their vocalizations, But over the years, they have created control panels based on their number system that allow their species to easier access elements of their technology. That's probably that machine we found. I'm betting so. Glad we found this premium legal pad. (laughs) Uh, We take communication for granted, even with the varied languages we find here in Hunrith. But when we suddenly find ourselves among other intelligent species who don't share our culture, history, DNA, or vocal cords, it requires a huge amount of effort for the beginning of rudimentary chatting. This quick overview will set the stage for what to expect when communicating with our neighbors. Oh my god, it's so much! Hold on. Uh... Okay, we we may come back to this shortly. 
Let's see what these are. Good Lord. Uh, large floating rocks could be seen in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get that. Yeah. Uh, no one had ever seen anything like it anywhere on Earth. We fully explored our new surroundings, hoping to find a new way, a way home. No way home was ever found. In fact, we soon discovered what we take for granted now. Not only could we not get back home, we, could, we also could not access the landscape outside the desert. Curiously, we discovered that a flow of water was provided from a high point, a high point of rock, and we discovered a small tree growing in the very center of the circle. Our central tree that is so important to our lives here was just a mere sapling back then. Can I turn this page over? No, I cannot. Uh... Okay. I don't want to spend too much on that. What about the pen? The I was, pen! I was just going to say, can I click on the pen? The pen. I can't click on the paper on the floor. There's another one of those uh, blue books on the desk, too, that has information about people coming in. On, on the desk on the far right. This? Yeah. I thought I already read this. Oh, shit. No, we read, the, read, we read the other one. Whoa. Jesus. Seed information. Oh my god, it's so it's so many words. Ambassador Seeds. Uh, uh, uh. Everyone who arrives is familiar with the collector seeds. Mother seeds. Okay. It is after Hunrith and before Hunrith, because that's twenty two thirty two BH. So that is a that is a um an estimation of time. But to what quantity? Right, exactly. Because like, I would have to imagine that 12,000 is not the same amount as a, like a year. Right, they're not, they're not counting years because in order for it to be a year, they would have to be rotating uh, the sun. Oh, there's a little projector there. Was this what was on the screen before? Did I? Oh, there's something. There's something circled there. It's circling something on the map. Yeah. Can we? What is? Oh. You can oh. Ro you can rotate that and point it at something else. I can point it at this. Does that do anything? Do anything at all? What is the purpose I, of this? I don't know. Obviously, it has some kind of purpose. Why would you be able to turn it if not? Right. What What does this achieve? Idris says days. It's probably days. Welcome. Dunes. Isn't somebody locked in here, by the way? Yeah, us. <laughs> there. Uh, recorder. That's a chubby little koala. He broke off the record button. Didn't we find a tape somewhere? I don't. Oh, it flips it over. I wonder if I can play it now. Rewind it. That's a good idea. Oh, all right. Everything but our stories. Can I put it down? Oh, I can't. I have to sit there and listen to it. I bet it starts over, too. They nope, it doesn't. Oh, wow. I was three. <clears throat> April of 1983. Ah. This is what we heard at the very beginning of the game. Oh, yeah. With context, that speech makes more sense. Uh huh.
with some forebearer of good fortune. Vera, you said you recall smiling. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, and yet attraction as we approached it. And it approached us. So close, so radiant, and that sound, deep and vibrant, organic. You all remember, there was no turning away. It advanced, almost like purposefully spinning slowly until, well, found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it did saved us and, and there must be more. It was in the middle of the afternoon. I was watching the sunrise. It was about, uh, t- about 2 30 in the morning. September 26, 1948. May 7th, 2009. September 3rd, 1995. I was down by the river. I was hiking in the desert. In the park with my grandpa. I looked up and saw a brilliant flash of light that exploded in the sky. The light just it clouds the clouds and shines the trees and it disappeared. I looked around and you know to see if there was anyone around. See if anyone else had seen what I had seen. There was no one around. They all saw it too. Bob definitely saw it. Well, it was just beautiful. There was something calming about it. Yeah, I don't want to tell you I was going to freak it out. I tried to follow it, study it, and look at it. I wanted to see it again. I came to a place where, where it had disappeared. Oh, I looked, but I found nothing. And it streaked through the sky again. It seemed like it was looking for something. Or looking for someone. And then it found me. And it found me. Found me. It found me. Found me. Found me. Found me. It found me. All right. I think that is all of the recording. You know what disturbs me about this tape? What's that? There were a lot of people yes. who were being recorded just then. Uh huh. There has only been one person that we've seen so far. Yes. Where did they go? What, yes. Where has everyone gone? Earth. Okay. What do we find? Planets with similar atmosphere. Oh, wait. One, seed pair. Two, find planets with similar, similar atmospheres. Three, swap. Four, tree from seed. And then, so here's Earth in Soria, the place of the Mofang. Mm-hmm. So we're swapping a seed from Earth to Soria, and then the seed, the seed will grow into a tree with a heart at the base. Heart connected kind of heart. path open when mature. Heart superposition. Huh. So you have four planets with four species connected by matured trees. And there are four species that are three other species that we have encountered. Or um, uh, we have, but somebody has. Right, they're documented. What happens at fruition? Swap where? 
home when maybe dead. More seed pairs scattered throughout the universe. Why scattering? Yeah, and they're not just scattering through space, they're scattering through time as well. Right. They are and they're they seem intentional. In some way or another. Right. He just says horrifying thanks yeah. to my where where is everybody? Right. Observation. Um wrench. No. Ain't nobody swapping Xbox three sixty. There you go. All right. Oh, we're we're at Farley's. This is Farley's house. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I had no idea that's where we were going. Another playing the up, oh, you realize where you were, music. Uh huh. Still can't open the door. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Deidre, have we done anything that you haven't done yet? Um, all right, let's go do this. Um, 15 yeah, I want to. I'm very curious. Like, the only thing it's going to do is give us a number. Right. It's going to spit out something that's usable somewhere Later. else. Because that Wow, thing... what a shortcut. God, we're already here. So based off of those notes, or uh -huh. what I'm assuming is, is that some sort of translator to the, like, forearm guy language that do something in sounds? Uh, okay. And that, that 15 on their little data thing mm -hmm. translates directly to a number... For us right so they're saying oh this number needs to be used somewhere okay so ba -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> and entree button at the top oh right yeah four zeros why did it change i don't know Uh Oh no. Oh, that's a bad number. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe it's projected, maybe it's backwards. Okay. Uh, I'll go with that. How do Just, I Just uh, hit enter with it being 0 and it'll clear entree. There we go. So that's ba da da and then da 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 da. Twenty one. Five nine eight, and it changes again. Hmm. That's the that's the I I I'm a little lost on why it keeps changing. Can you bring up the Can you bring up the picture in your photo album? Can. Oh, I wonder if there's other things on the side that I'm not paying attention to, like those those lines. Maybe, but they're 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 not a connecting point. Oh, they're already there. They're being shown already. Right. Huh. Do we have? Do we need to figure out the number that makes that pattern? There, there isn't one. Because if it matched a pattern that equal the number, it would let us do it. Button. Oh yeah. Wow. What? That... But I, I just I don't understand what caused when we type in an invalid code, uh huh, what co what determines what it should change to. Right. Like is it is it calculating something? Okay, hold on, let's try it again. See if we get the same number twice. I imagine we will. Four zero six. Four zero six. Mm. That is not the number we got the first time, is it? I don't remember, honestly. Or zero six. Okay, it is constant, and we still get the same changes each time as well. Mm hmm. Oh boy, there's something here, but I, I, I don't, I don't. I don't know. think we have a. We probably just don't have enough. <laughs> right. There's, there's, 
one more piece of that that we can't figure out. We're getting closer, though. Right. Let's look for a tube. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We got a lot going on here. And we need a lot of it, too. Right. Like... Like a parsec's worth of a tube. Like a football field's worth. Uh-huh. I don't see... Anything that could serve as a tube. Huh. <clears throat> Although we do have this area up here. We haven't... Really looked in all that much. Oh, the loop, the loop de loo. Yeah. Oven over there. We can make a souffle. Yeah. I don't think we can go over there. We can go over there. Have we looked around here? We, I mean, we haven't been to this part. But also, that's definitely a path. It is. It's just a little out of my my reach to get to it. And we have no jump, do we? Correct. I feel I like if I were there in person, I even I could climb up on that. <laughs> I, I have like this... Like, it looks like I could walk up this, and then I immediately slip down to the ground. Your shoes don't have traction for burlap. Right. Oh, what? What? Hi. Oh. Where? What's all this, then? Somewhere I've been before. Oh, oh, this is by the... The, the goo rocks. The goo rocks. Huh. Okay. What is the purpose of, of making this? Especially if we, since we get to the point where we can destroy those rocks, we can... Maybe it's just a shortcut. Yeah. But... Oh, well, why, though? Exactly. Nothing is accidental in this. Everything... Everything is done for a reason. I, I don't know what that reason is. But there's some stuff that it's just like, it does nothing. Like the, the fire truck we found at the very beginning of the game. Well, we don't know the purpose short of that. Short hose. Wait, short hose. Yes, I saw the short hose. New arrival and in inventory check-in. So short hose and then hose. Pump. Hmm. Bunch of car batteries, video camera, four metal Definitely. poles. But but where would this inventory go when it came in? I assume it would come in a shipping container, but we can't get into any of the shipping containers so also, far. Also, we don't know what stuff that in that is like useful to us. Right. And he says reality is thinning. I like that whale sculpture. It is nice. What is it? I guess I can't walk back there. Well, yeah, that's where we walked through before. Uh, right? Ki kinda. It's over here. Same wall, oh. but just a little bit off. It all goes to the same place. Right. Um. Mom, who was it that no matter what meal they had, it was like some kind of father or grandfather or great grandfather? Uh huh. That what, no matter what they were eating, they would always just mix everything up into a big mash. Yep. And just say, it's all going to the same place. Yep. Yeah, I, and I don't want. I'm not a picky eater by 
any stretch. I am. You also least... don't have a. You also don't have a lot of like a lot of taste. Right. Exactly. I do not. I don't. I don't pay attention to how foods taste. I don't really care. Um, but uh, the way that I eat always used to get on my dad's nerves because I eat one object at a time, not because of, of any reason of like, oh, I don't want the peas to touch the mashed potatoes or the, the carrots to touch my french fries, and I don't, I don't care at all. I just, it's, a, it's a process, and you're getting through it. Yeah, it's like when you set the plate down in front of me, the peas are in front of me, so I'm going to eat the peas first, then I'm going to rotate my plate so that the corn is in front of me, then I eat all the corn, and then if I get to the drumstick last, I'm eating the drumstick last because that's just how the cookie crumbles. But like, he was just like, eat, just... Take a bite of each. The your the last thing is the coldest thing. I was like, I don't care. I don't care if it's cold. I don't care at all. <laughs> it was my great grandfather who did that. Oh, okay. My mom's dad's dad. Gotcha. <clears throat> Deja's her grandfather says that too. I just I just never was concerned about whether like like food pairings and taste combinations and all that kind of stuff. Like, oh, eat the eat the 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 steak with the corn because the corn is seasoned to play off the steak. I was like, absolutely not. I don't care. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what ice cream soup is? I can imagine what ice cream soup is. It's when you let ice cream melt a little bit and you like help it along by mixing it around. It's uh -huh. basically just like slightly melted ice cream that's just yeah. like mushed around. That's what Shelby does with ice cream every single time. She will take a few bites of the like brand new ice cream in the bowl. And then she'll just like, once it starts to soften the slightest bit, it's just, it just, she goes into like a stand mixer and just absolutely pulverizes it. My mom used to tell me um, that when she was a kid, her parents, she would want to make ice cream soup and her parents would be like, no, no ice cream soup. You're not just eat it. Don't play with it. <laughs> so uh, when, when I was a kid, my mom was like, hey, Make ice cream soup if you want. <laughs> I don't. Hmm, I don't know that there's anything I can interact with any more than I already have in this place. Looking on the for... other hand, Deidre says. On the other hand, for the longest time, we had uh, portioned plates, so my brother. And dad <laughs> didn't have any of their food and food excess touching. Yeah, I see what you mean. So, like, if they had um, chicken and then the, the bones wouldn't get dropped back onto the plate and it wouldn't touch the mashed potatoes and that kind of yeah, thing. That, can actually, that actually, like, really bothers some people. It really oh, that does. That scared me. That it, it, scared me. It, it kind of startled me, too, when I walked in. I was just like, big face. <laughs> Big face. Oh no, Deidre, it's big face. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, like that, that actually like really bothers some people. Uh -huh. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but like I'm sympathetic to people who it does bother. And that's why I had to say like I'm not that person. I didn't I didn't eat one item at a time because that bothered me. I just eat ate one at a time because I don't know. That's how that's how it was. My mom says they wouldn't let me put chips on my sandwiches. I've had that before. It's pretty good. I've enjoyed it. I've done it. I've done it a time or two. I don't prefer it, but it's not bad. Now I don't. I don't. Do know we have those rock steps? I don't this know. Look familiar to me. I don't know if we have. I don't know where we are right now. Yeah. We're on the are edge we... of the bubble. Wherever we are, there's more that I feel like we haven't gone to. What yeah, is let's, the? Let... Hmm. What? What? What does this vantage point gain me? I don't know. Maybe something later? Yeah. Also, have have we gone through on this end? Because I don't think we've ever been here. At least I don't I, remember. I really don't think we have. I don't know where it's gonna spit us out. Let's let's take a let's poke our heads through. Cause this is like a straight up dead end on this end of the portal. Right. Um we're above the track. We are, in fact, above the track. Oh, we need to go back and close that gate now that yes, we can we get do. through. Okay. Okay, and we're learning. We're learning. Another, another 
chunk of the portal. Where are we now? This is... I've seen these. My mom says, this reminds me so much of the Gunslinger series. Yeah, it, it's really reminiscent of, like, that whole... This? This game? Yeah, like, not not so much, like, the oh, we're, story, we're but, over, like... The... We're over Farley's house. That's Farley's house. Oh, we house are? Down there. Oh, okay. It's because we can look down on Farley's... But, yard. like, the theming of, like, portals and, like... Gunslinger? Oh, we're on top of the... Tr yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, over the, we're over the track now, too. I guess we're on I don't this know end what... of the track. What is that? I guess that? I don't know what Gunslinger is, because Gunslinger just it's sounds a, like a Western thing. It's Oh, it's a Stephen King. It's a series by Stephen King. Oh, okay. It's really good. It's really fucking weird. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, I've done something. So... These plants look on the grow? backside of those rocks. Can you look at the backside of those rocks? I want to see if they're displaced. Like these rocks here? Yeah. They are definitely... Yeah, this is a sphere. These have been okay. cut, aw cut away. Uh, Deidre says, but also corn or baked beans, they were too... That, uh, that were too saucy would get their own section uh, off parts of the plate. They did. They had a comic book series um, that actually, Deidre, you actually got me some of. So it's not closing because we're standing here? Right. I Oh, I think we just died. Boy, this is good for your bit rate. Is that a loading bar? Where? It was in the top right. Are we yeah. dead? We have been transported. Are we back on the home planet? Yes. Of we have re-swapped this, this sphere back to its original location. Is there like a line you can see where the rocks um, are? I, if, if you look at that green, it does kind of look as though something has aged more than the other stuff. You, see, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we look at this green kind of arc Yeah, I here. can see it. There's like a there's like a, a lighter bit and then a darker bit. I don't know if that's a, a video game thing or if that's intentional to show that something is older than than another portion of it. Oh, there's another this, chunk missing. Oh yeah, there is. Like this environment is like it seems humid and and uh -huh. and, and mossy. And where we were was like an arid, like Super, dry. Yeah. I don't know where we are. Deidre says, uh, thought so. I was like, that sounds so familiar. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was talking to Deidre about how much I liked that book series one time. And then I think it was a free comic book day or something. She got a bunch of comics and then she got me some Gunslinger comics, which Neat. are really cool. And then uh, Sergio says, oh, man, the Gunslinger King really messed that finale, rest up that finale. <laughs> he got really, he got really weird with it is at that, one point where he made him is that his uh car accident days where he got real yeah. weird well he started the series before the accident okay and then he took a really really long break after like the fourth book and then starting from the fifth book until the end he like made himself a character in the book which was kind of weird i can't interact with this in any way whatsoever I have no influence on it. Okay. He always falls off a cliff. Like Leo DiCaprio can't seem to survive any of the stories he's in. Uh, spoiler alert for the very end of the last book of uh, the Gunslinger series. But after you go through everything in the whole book... He tried really hard to justify it with the series being a never-ending cycle. Yeah. At the, at the very end of the last book, there's like an insert where Stephen King comes in and he's like, listen, if you want the story to end and you want a happy ending, stop reading right now. <laughs> and then immediately after that, and I can't, 
do anything during this part. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, and then immediately after he says that, uh, it like folds into like a time loop where at the very end of the story, he starts at the very beginning of the uh, first book. Gotcha. Okay. And it's, a never, it's like a never ending cycle and it goes on forever and ever. Yeah. Which like, it could have been better, but it wasn't really that bad. I don't think. It's a neat, neat idea. I, I, I appreciate it at least when neat the ideas are tried. I think the execution could have been better. Yeah. But it, it, it felt, it, it felt very, and it was all a dream, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. Uh huh. Because writing it into a loop basically says there is no end, literally yeah. and figuratively. Like, there's no resolution. We're just stuck on this hamster wheel forever. So, like, it w it wasn't a bad idea. The execution could have been better. That's that's my final review of the Gunslinger series. Got it. The rest of it, the rest of it was cool, except for the sex scenes. He got way way too graphic with the sex scenes. <laughs> okay, I wasn't like, expecting that. Like, there's there's a scene. This is pretty graphic. So, if you don't like nasty graphic stuff, right? If you want a happy stop, ending, well, keep reading. Stop, stop listening for a few seconds. But there's a part where there's this old witch, like she's uh. this gnarled old witch. Uh -huh. And then she, like, there's a whole, like, dedicated section of the book where she's, like, masturbating. Oh, neat. Very fun. Four, four, oh, four, oh, what? What was the code? The four digit code. Four, six, it was. Oh, my God. We're a genius. <laughs> the president's <laughs> we are, office. We are a singular genius. <laughs> the, you and me together, we make one genius. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was like, it was, it was really weird and way too much description. Like, he could have said, Oh, and then she started masturbating, but no, he like was like, she, really? she, she, she stuck her gnarled finger inside her, and that's as much as I'm gonna say. But it was uh -huh. like, come on, man, <laughs> oh, I get Mayor, it. <laughs> Mayor's office. Oh, uh, not as cool. Delete it. Mayor Roscoe? Is that what that says? Do we Did get a free Ros compass? I don't know. Um. Uh, he just says, King is a genius. He's allowed to have his days off. Yeah, right at the very end. Um, so he just says, it's a neat idea for flipping the hero's journey on its head, but like, he put Roland through some weird shit towards the end and throws away a major character off screen. Yeah, he does. He does do that. Yeah, it's the guy you've been seeing around town. Oh, right, right. The guy who we said looks like Review Bra. North, North, east, east. south, east. <laughs> oh boy. I got a lot Damn. of them. <laughs> That's a lot of words. Too bad we're not reading them. Look at this fella. Hey, fella. I wonder if this game has like Easter eggs. Oh, that was cool. I wonder if this game has like Easter eggs to uh, Mist, like uh -huh. like a statue on the wall or something. Like it's yeah. not a part of the story. It's just like a huh? Does it say Wow Award? This guy plays Wow. O is Oeste, which means West. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, it's a Spanish compass. Mm. Interesting. It must have got it off like a. Wasn't there something about it like a, a Spanish naval ship? somewhere uh, that, that got turned upright may may all your doors stay open god what a terrible gift <laughs> the door stop i mean it's very it, in the in the context of what kind of situation they're in is that a florida yes. flag florida is the american flag are these florida flags to the right of the american flag i don't i don't even know the florida flag it's got it's like a red X with like uh, the Florida that's, crest that's in the middle. That's Japan. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, that's Japan, and that's and red and white. I don't. I don't know. Is that? I really wish this game had text reader. I do too. But I, I mean, I don't really want to sit there and read all those fucking yeah. date entries. Joseph for mayor. Oh, that's right. I think I think it's uh, Yosef. Yeah, uh, yeah. We uh, we may have settled on like Yosef. I think they've they've pronounced it as Yosef. 
Hi. What's, got what's gl- he's got a glory hole in his office. Yeah. Look how high it is. Dang, dude. This is a tall <laughs> man. Oh, there's a button. What does the button do? <laughs> do you do you remember that bit? Oh, it's an elevator. From, do you remember that bit from Futurama where he's like, I want to join the army. You think you can or it's like, I want to join the police academy. You think you can just walk in here with no pants and join the police academy? <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Uh and then he's like, Well, I, I can respect that. I'm also not wearing pants. And the fry goes, I can see that. You're much taller than me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, so I'm betting if... Oh, there's an area down there. I'm betting if this, if this place had power, we could... Um, so do we need to go back to the power grid? Oh, I found this door, but I didn't want to open it just yet. Let me flip it open. Flip it off. Flip it out. Let's get wild. We're in the glory hole room right now. Yeah. If there's any place... Oh, I remember this door. Yeah. The spherical. Uh, what do you what do you do? It's a, it's a bolt to keep that girder mm-hmm. in place. Girders. <laughs> Sergio says, "Oh, wait. Old Joseph is here?" <laughs> Sorry, it's uh it's actually young Joseph. Mm. Part 2 Joseph. Uh Joseph Pieter Janssen, Caroline Farley, Benjamin Sims, John Farley, Carl Hunrith. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, this is a list of mayors. Yeah, Luther Roscoe, 500 to 3 BH, uh, 0 to 10,000 AH. 10,000? I think those are days. It's got to be days, man. Or souls, or whatever you're going to call it. Rotations? Yeah. We got another door here. That was a noise. Yeah. That was also a noise. Uh huh. And it then, sounds like you just opened ah. a door in Resident Evil. All right. Resident Evil. What uh, is this? this oh, is we're by a, the tree. Right, and this is a geared door. This is opened by some mechanism. Probably down, down there. Down there, which I need to take the elevator to. Okay, a lot of going on. A lot of going says, on. He just says, how tall do you think he is? <laughs> I mean, look at the glory hole. I, this is like chin level to me. And He's like, maybe, have you seen those pictures of Shaquille O'Neal with his girlfriend? Okay. Because <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal's girlfriend is like relatively short. Okay. And Shaq is, Shaq is huge. Shaq is Shaquille O'Neal. Right. <laughs> so like... If we're talking about like Shaq to Shaq's girlfriend heights, that would be perfect. Yeah. Just saying. Everybody's got proper posture there. <laughs> uh, okay. So we've unlocked a few doors, but for what purpose? Okay, okay. How tall is Shaq? I gotta look that up. I'm going to say that Shaq is seven foot four. That's my that's my snap estimation. You were very close, but if we were playing the price is right, you would have Ooh, lost. He's seven two, foot one. Seven one, okay. <laughs> he probably <laughs> fit as well. <laughs> probably. I like he would probably fit. Which means there's a non zero chance that he doesn't. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Uh what was that circle covering on the map? Because this is the map, right? Circle covering. Oh, uh, you took a picture of it, I believe. Yes, I did. Circle covers just south of the tree. Bleeder right. Lake. On the, end, on the end of the wall. The end of the wall. What does that mean? If you look to the left of the circle, there's a thing called the wall, and it goes oh, right oh, into the yeah. center of the circle. Wall. Right, got it. I used to have a boss that used to say he was six <laughs> foot twenty two. How tall is that in um I'm gonna say it's seven foot ten. That's a large man. Uh so we've got tower, tree, and then whatever this circle is is um making like a triangle. So we've got t- tree is not even listed here. But 
That is pretty close to what is being circled there. With the red line? Yeah. So, oh, shoot. Not that. Um, uh, in reality, I'm uh, 5 foot 11. Okay. But according to my driver's license, uh -huh. I, am an, I am exactly 6 foot tall. Yep. And I that happened... That happened because when I went and got my driver's license for the first time, uh -huh. she she was like, I go stand up against the thing. And I walked up and she goes, that's ah, six foot. I'm like, I'm, I'm actually 5'11". And she goes, ah, close enough. <laughs> I already I'm typed like, it in. I don't feel like typing uh, again. Okay. Whatever you say, lady. I think I am like a quarter inch shy of six foot, which is why I always say I'm 5'11 and a half. Also, it's just fun to say. I think I I don't know. So the I think this is the thing that's circled. That that guy. This what? Yeah, because this is there, there's not a map entry for this. And so is that like a is that like a a what are those things called? A dam turbine? Um, I I genuinely don't know. Have we been able to get to that little walkway on the other side of the water over there? Uh. Also, if we come across where that bridge is, we need to close that so we can walk across. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I completely forgot about that. But only if we walk come across. Yeah, I don't even like know. Like that little walkway. I don't think we've been there. No, that's way out there. I'm wondering if this is like the other half of the pair of the thing that's by the railway cart. Like this is a... Oh, like that's what it's going to? Yeah, because they, they seem roughly the same technology. Like kind of turbine-ish with Can you can you look up at the, the things that are like the the reaching spire. out? Oh yeah. Yeah, those look like rebar. That doesn't look like cable. Yeah. I I couldn't say. I mean they have like joints on them. They're not I wonder what it is. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Uh, but yes, let's go close the water thing. Yeah, and then go back around through Farley's house so we can... It feels like I just teleported. It doesn't feel like I should have been able to just walk from there to there. Yeah. It feels like, it feels like that was too, uh, like, non-Euclidean. Like, I just broke, like, folded space there. I remember playing Mario 64 for the first time. Okay. And uh, how familiar are you with the bob -omb Battlefield map? Uh, roughly. I mean, I know the, the little the dip, like this, the, the sand trap looking thing. Yeah. I know the field off to the right with the chain chomp. So if you go up the, if you follow the path and go up around and past the chain chomp and then you turn to the right and then you can go up the mountain okay but if you instead of turning right to go up the mountain you uh you need to turn the propeller instead of going up the mountain instead of turning right to go up the mountain you turn left and then you go down into like a little lower area with like a couple of goombas and then if you keep going you go you drop down into like the beginning of the the map i think i remember what you're talking about the the first time that my brain put together that dropping off that ledge puts me back at the beginning and all of it is like in a big oh. loop. Uh -huh. It was, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it threw me through a loop. Like, I mean, I was just a little kid back then, but yeah. it was like, I like, it was like two parts of a puzzle had been connected that I wasn't expecting right. to. And they just slipped it, together. It, it freaking blew my mind. I'm like, whoa, this just go like we're right back at the beginning. Right. Uh, well, because up until then, every Mario, you you run from left to right, and you yeah. experience something one time. And if you want to experience it again, you play it again. So you see what I mean? How it has these, like, these extensions, these, like, arms jutting out. Yeah. On this, on this thing, that's similar to what that thing over there is doing. Yeah, you're right. And this trail kind of leads over to it. But, I mean, I that game came out in 1996. Mm -hmm. And I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that also. 
Maybe that's where King got it? Oh, the, the closed loop? Yeah. He played Mario 64 and was like, I know how to end my book series. I figured it out. <laughs> and somebody hit him with a car. Uh, now, I can't remember. I think it's... No, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I need to go up you here. You need to go into right. like that back area and go yeah. through the... Go through the back rooms. This whole game feels like the it's back a, rooms. It's a, little, it's a little hop to the left. Uh-huh. I don't I remember the rest of the I lyrics. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, then here. I've always wanted to go to like yes, a Rocky Horror Picture Show because it, it looks so fun. It's either going to be very fun or absolutely insufferable. But I I want to do it at least once. Oh, and oh, then you could drop right. this down. Yeah, kabang, dude. And then. It, and then he self-medicated with copious amounts of opiates. <laughs> so now we can just get up here. And this goes somewhere. Where does this go? I'm going to guess the railway? Oh, no, that's... Well, that would be this way. Right. I'm... Okay, there's the there's spherical. There's the, the, the orb. Alright. There's the... Bus. Oh, the boat! The boat! This does not look like a Spanish uh, fleet boat. It's, it's a train. Is it a train? Uh, it looks like a train car that's been smashed into a mountainside. Oh. Maybe? I, I, I thought they that's... said it was like a boat, but it looks more... If it's a boat, it's a metal boat. This is a call system. But we don't know the number. How many, let's see how many digits we're playing with here. But have you pondered the orb? <laughs> Deidre, you know I'm always pondering my orb. Don't bother me while I ponder my orb. Okay, we got six digits. Blaine the train. I forgot about Blaine the train. Is that a king thing? It's a dark tower thing. Oh, okay. It was like a, it was like a scent. I'll be right back. I think I've been disconnected. Yeah, you're back. Oh, you. It was like you got you got zapped out of existence in the middle of the word sentient. It was a sentient magnet train. Huh. That uh, they tried to kill everybody. Gotcha. Was Was there a button next to that door to the right of was, it? I thought there was. It didn't do anything. Oh, okay. I've been either because when I was out. It, it's either because we don't have power or because I don't know the right. No, we have power because I can press the buttons. Um, so we need to find a six-digit code. Didn't King do maximum overdrive? I don't know. I With the truck that wants to kill everyone? Let me find Let's out. See. They took his sentience and then killed him. They wouldn't. They let did. Him. They did kill him in in that book. They w he wouldn't let you. In fact, that was the same sentience. book where. That was the same book where uh, Stephen King went way too much detail about an old woman. <laughs> Touching herself. Playing a little uh, three knuckle shuffle. Maximum overdrive. The, he wrote the short story that turned into that movie. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Um, he was also in the movie. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. They 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 uh they do that with all of Stephen King stuff though. He's they stand uh they uh, Stan Lee him. And they always have, so it's not like. He copied Stan Lee. Like, like he always just so always done that. I thought you were going to say they stand a king. Okay, where I'm does I'm trying to think of a funny way to phrase that. <laughs> yeah, where does that? Uh, you know what? All I have to do is walk that way, and I'll come back there. That's true. Because that's the dome. All right, there we go. So keep the spire. And now you're thinking our... of portals. Yeah, keep the spire at our six, and we are on target. Oh, you right. know what I just thought about. Look what back at those cables. Look back at those cables that kind of go off into the sky. Yeah. Do they go through the dome are, and out the they, other side? But we can't see what they're connecting to? Yeah, because it would be underground at that angle. That's a good point. They would be 180 degrees the other direction. That's a, that's a neat possibility. 
I hadn't considered that. So maybe they're not like rebar. Maybe they are like cables. So yeah, soft line, but just linked <laughs> in the most roundabout way. Now they're thinking of portals. Uh huh. Marvel got, Marvel it, from got it from him if the rumors are to be believed. Huh. Oh, shoot. I can't get out this way. Why not? The door's closed. Oh. I have yeah. To climb up and over and all that kind of stuff. It is. It do, it do be like that. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it do but, be like that. That's true. <laughs> but you know what? Now that you have this down, could you just leave it open now or... No, because then you wouldn't be able to get over here, except unless right. you went through the back way. So, I think this seems like where I should be going. You came in here, isn't it? I mean, it yeah, but that's right across from where we need to get spit out. Uh, where are we? Wait. That. What? Oh. So that's okay, so. So I'm a little bit off. I need to go a little bit. You need to go more left. To the left, so that it's supposed to be out right. I cannot believe we actually understand this. Oh, and there's a little walkway. How convenient. We out here. Where are we at? Well, though? we're not there. We're not there. We're not, but where are we? Above it. Right. We're, okay, uh, yeah. we're, we're actually under those cables. Can you look at them again now that we're under it? They are definitely hitting the they... dome. And that's it. They just terminate at the dome. Or do they? Uh, is this a new spot? I don't remember seeing this. No, this is a new spot. And new it spot just somewhere. dropped. And look what I got. I got a button. Now I can walk up it's here. That, it's at the loop. We're at the back of the loop. Kabang, dude. Kabang, indeed. Okay. So this is a different mechanism, but I'm betting it does the same thing. It's got those little hexagons on the back. So we... Play with the one arm bandit and then send it. Ah. <laughs> exactly, Logan. Exactly. What? You broke up when you did that. <laughs> it sounded I'm like you said goodbye. I did. Okay. But I was I being teleported. Was... <laughs> but I was being teleported, you see. Uh huh. The first King books I ever read were Gerald's Game. Uh, desperation and sell. My parents would not have left me alone at the li. My parents should not have left me alone at the library. I was is, way too young to be reading those. Is sell what the sell came from? The Jennifer Lopez movie. I don't. And Vincent D'Onofrio. I don't oh. know, but I, I can find out. The sell. The 2002 or the 2000 film? I, that feels about right. Oh, that's the weird one where they divided a horse, isn't it? Yes. That's the, the anatomy lesson of the horse. Right. That was so weird. Uh-huh. Uh, the cell. Okay. It doesn't do nothing. Vince Vaughn was in that movie? Vince Vaughn, not Vince D'Onofrio. What was he I was, talking Vincent about? Vincent D'Onofrio was in that movie. Was he? Okay. Yeah. So you're out here spitting facts, dude. Don't even sweat it. Don't so even trip, dog. So Vince Vaughn was one of the cops, and I think Vincent D'Onofrio was the, like, creep in her head. Vincent, Vincent D'Onofrio was Carl Starger. And Vince Vaughn was Peter Novak. Just, you know, just so you know. Gotcha. Okay. 
So you spun, you're you spinning a thing now. I wasn't looking for a minute. Now you're spinning a thing. I got this going on, which is pretty cool. Oh, I mean, I got a, I got a, I got a control input here. Everybody's really impressed from what I understand. That's great. I'm very concerned with what people think of this spinning <laughs> actuation. TBH. In my honest IMHO. There's a picture of a, a woman's face poking out of what looks like milk. Uh... Okay, we're doing... We're doing something. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> Doritos Los Taco. And then the beaver <laughs> hits the wall and... <laughs> What is that? Oh, do? what? I don't know. Does that stop that end from moving so you can rotate it and leave this here? Oh, will it bypass now? Can I can I lift it back up? Is it is it down forever? No, no, no. Is it is it down? It bad? was about the dangers of technology and cell phones killing people. My mom says Gerald's game was disturbing. Deidre says it sure was. I was like twelve or thirteen when I wrote it for the first time. Oh, cell was not the cell. I was like the cell. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. any of that. <laughs> I missed cell. all of that subtext. Oh, Quentin, are you home? Oh, I've 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 lost my bridge. No, it's just over here now. I guess okay, I've moved my bridge. So I was looking through the settings on our Discord the other day, what? and I There's found the I option found that. There's a bug. I found a bug. Oh, well, those. That's just one of them guys. They're just, uh, they're just a, some kind of little drone. Arai? Is that, are those the Arai? Yeah, they said that they weren't harmful. They're just like a guy. Quint's home. About to pass, pass out. out. <laughs> Dude, they had you working late. That sounds not great. Down the city of gold. Dur Dorado or whatever it's called. Yeah, Dorado. I got a buzz. It's the Dorado. By the way. Oh, it's is that the the city of gold is the Dorado? It's the El Dorado. Got it. It's, oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got my joke finally. The Delgado. <laughs> <laughs> so I was playing around in the settings of the Discord, and okay. I found the option that toggled on. Um, oh. Okay, go ahead. That toggled on uh, our boosts. Oh yeah. And so I just I just turned it on. And I was like, well, why not? Let's just show it. And uh, like earlier today, um, Toast boosted our server. I thought I saw that because I saw the thing that said uh, one boost remaining, and I was like, who? Somebody must have done something to boost it. Yeah, Ghost, uh, not Ghost. Toast uh, boosted our server. Well, shouts out to Toast. Shout out Toast. Thanks for boosting. So, all right. So today, when our tweet came out, Cyan Worlds actually responded to us. Oh, dude, there was a whole thing going on. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. Looks very much like this place we are about to walk into right now. That's, you know what? That's true. Because I was looking at that and I'm like, what is this? And it then looks... they showed a. Then they posted something else. Somebody else replied. Uh -huh. Who I think is who I think is a dev, but I'm not Maybe sure. So. Somebody else replied, and then they replied to that person. Showing like falling through rings. Oh and yeah! I'm like, and I'm like, I'm glad I'm not playing this in VR because <laughs> that's uh, that doesn't look fun. <laughs> I'm telling you now, I think one of these things is going to open, so I don't want you to be startled if it does. I'll listen. I'm not scared. They look like little uh, pistachios. Okay, you doesn't afraid of anything. And those are the barnacles. You're right. Those are barnacles. The other, the those other half are of the bugs. Poly. Polyarchs? No, polyarchs yeah, they're, are like they're the, the brains. The bugs is the brawn. Yeah. Okay. So we're finally well, we've seen them before, but we're finally knowing what we're looking at. Looking at the right. pistachios. Seeing the life cycle of these uh, awry. Hopefully, but yeah. That things... was a, that was pretty cool when Cyan Worlds was just like chatting it up in our our tweet. And I was like, I wanted to say something, but I didn't know what uh -huh. to say. <laughs> Hopefully, things don't go awry. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> they delete the game and we can't play it. <laughs> this, Logan, this feels like I'm playing a first person Shadow of the Colossus. Look at this. I was going to say it's very Skyrim like. 
I just meant like all the like cars. There's another tree. There oh yeah, with like the like angular carvings. Yeah, I see. Yeah. It. So it looks like there's another laser being fired up here that's making a a dome protector. Do you see that? Uh huh. And we gotta we gotta wreck so, it. So so when we wreck it, we can loop in this area too. Is that an axolotl statue? I don't. I thought so. <laughs> it's. A it looks axolotl. like a, it looks like an axolotl with like weird teeth. Although axolotls yeah. do have weird teeth. Do they really? Yeah, they're like they're like weird. I don't even know how to describe it. Huh. I need to get this fucking IMDb page for the cell off my screen. <laughs> It'll mess with you. It's weird, dude. I want to see the movie really bad now because I've never seen it. But it's genuinely it, it's got some. I'm not gonna say it's like a revolutionary like tour de force horror movie, but. It's got some neat ideas because it plays with, like, imagine if, like, The Matrix was a horror movie because a lot of what happens is not in reality. Right. So that's kind of, that's kind of. I just like seeing weird stuff. Right. And that, that movie is full of weird stuff. That's why, that's why I want to see Crimes of the Future because it's full of weird shit oh, and I want to see man. it. Again. Oh, and this, this is another teleportation. Well, we just need to find the one that takes us back to Earth, and then we can leave. <laughs> then we'll be done. We win. Picture here. Oh, this is a map of this planet. All right. And that's our tree from here. Right. <clears throat> so here's the thing. If we take this sphere back to our... Uh, first off, we don't know if it's going to go back to our planet. We might end up to a third place we've never, ever been. Right. <clears throat> if it does go back to our planet... This I'd trail will be clear. I don't know where this is going to go. Let's like, find out. What area does this get transplanted back to? I mean, these things are two ways, so if we don't like it, we can just come back. Right. Here we go. This is the coolest transition I have ever I seen like in a video game. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I also like that I can look around while it's happening. And then it arranges the colors where they should be. It's so nuts. Okay. Are so we, we downstairs now? So this that, is that, the, the mannequin, but I can't remember where we are. Okay, we have put that part of the world back together. But what We've done was... the old swaparoo. I look at the line. Look at the line. Where? What do you mean? Where the where the the seam is? Oh yeah. From, where it's like cooked and aged. It's like it's like dirty from that dirty place. Yeah, you, it it puts it back, but because of the way that wood is organic, and like deformed. It's sagged. When you, yeah. But the wood here is in an arid climate, so it's like not really. Yeah, that's cool. It's, I like it's that. It's still a like lot. full of moisture. It hasn't been dehydrated and dried out and transported across the cosmos. That's, that's an really incredible cool. detail. That is absolutely in great job, Cyan. Absolutely. My mom says it looks like what I imagine being inside a Star Trek Energizer. <laughs> yeah, when you're being uh -huh. teleported. Uh huh. Uh, it was the guy at, uh, Reg that hates being transported. Yeah. Also, uh, at some point, you come across, uh, they call him Bones, but I can't remember. It's Dr. McCoy. Oh, okay, yeah. At, at was... one point in The Next Generation, old man Dr. McCoy is walking around, and he's like, I don't want to be teleported anymore. Okay. He's like this grumpy old man, and he's great. <laughs> um... I'm done with that now. <laughs> All right, so... We need to... So what did that do for... We need to get back there. We gotta get back to that world. But, but we I'm... need to go back up to where that other thing was, but that's in the other world. Right. Okay, hold on. So there's gotta be a third one. Let's go back to the place where we opened up the slide walkway. Now we can walk up there again. Right, so in the loop-de-loo. Yeah. If you go by the uh, if you go by the goo rocks, which is to the right of here, goo rocks to the right of here. Yeah, go over there. <clears throat> oh, I was just gonna walk through Farley's. If you go through the goo rocks, it'll take us right to the loop de loo. Well, if you just are... walk straight ahead, 
Correct. If you just go straight ahead through that wall okay. directly in front of us. But the loot, the the tunnel over here to the right will get us up in that upper area. We can get there regardless. Okay. So, so we're go go e left into there. And then yeah, it's over in the corner. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to see what the displaced thing that we That's, that's exactly left what I want to see. Uh-huh. It's just it's just this. It's the proper it's the proper stuff that should and be And we here. could go back there. Right. And it will swap again. Okay, so they're not one way. They're not like a one way two way thing. There's it's a it's object tradesies. on both ends. Yeah, it's tradesies. You you take what's there and put it here and take what's here and put it there, including me. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. This is nuts. I, this is absolutely I, nuts. I pull up. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm looking at the bit rate on <laughs> on the feed. It does not like this. Are you there? <laughs> Hello. Clay, I've lost in the teleport zone. I've lost the teleport zone. Send help. <laughs> Send help. Okay, I turned it off. Okay, so I think, I hope, this will recover the bridge to me. If we crank it. Yeah, I just stand but here you know cranking what, it till the bridge. But you comes know back. I'm going to do. Uh huh. That boy, he do be cranking. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna not. Yeah. I refuse. I refuse to not. <laughs> no matter that how much I ask. <laughs> and yes, I have left my webcam on this whole time. You can see me. <laughs> it's not you on. I, I didn't. I didn't turn it on. <laughs> you can't not see me. I won't let you. <laughs> Um, now you need to pull that lever to the left of you, and it'll turn it. Turns. And you go over there to where those those goo piles are. Man, so cool. Is this a rock that I can walk through? No, no. Why does How it do we... have a shimmer? Oh, touch it. I, I'm thinking. Oh, that's a... when we when we take down the barrier. Oh, you know what? I bet you're right. I bet you're right. I bet you're right. But because there's a barrier at the edge of the whatever. <laughs> I thought that was the here. video game going. All right, seriously, that's you. Stop, stop walking. You're going stop too it. far. <laughs> stop it. Drop it. <laughs> Open up and chop it. Pop it. Lock it. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. This is incredible. This is an incredible game. It's it's show it's it's exactly like um Tunic. It shows what can be done if you're if you if you don't just shoot everything. If you just pay attention, you can figure <laughs> it out. If you open your effing ears. But like every other game is, you know, shoot the bad guy cuz you're the good guy. I mean, I, and, uh even unlike Tunic, there's not even any combat in this game. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like even with Tunic, there were things that are like, "Hey, maybe you put the sword away for a second and just think. Use How your brain." Don't? <laughs> yeah. How about and, don't? Okay. And this and this game is like, we're not going to give you a sword. You, you have these buttons that you don't know what they do. They might be your good, they might brain be bad. is your sword. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so this, this one doesn't have one on the other side because well, there's no teleport pad here. Is this where we were? Is this is this what yeah. we walked? Yeah, that to? that laser was on the other side of the like area. So can okay. you shut that laser down? Um, I don't see any controls. I'm thinking blue tech need, is the only way the, to interrupt red tech. We need the blue laser. It. So does we that need, mean I can swap this with a place that I could shoot with a blue laser? Maybe there's a place where you can park the tr the tram, uh -huh. and then you could drive like like the bit of track is not there currently, but when you swap with it, you can park the tram on it, teleport it here, shoot right. the red laser, 
fire the quad laser at it. Uh -huh. Quad phaser. <laughs> okay. So I can walk down <laughs> here. You got a blast. But I can't I can't get out of this. Are there oh, switches it's on the other side. Knobs? Can I get to the other side, maybe? Are there boops and bobs and bips and bops? Hmm. Can I open those bops? Open bops. Okay, so I have a walkway, but I can't get... How come these pistachios down? are orange? I don't know. And they're, like, on the gears of this machine. Are we going to kill them? Are we uh, going to piss off the bugs? They're, they're on the framework. They're not on any moving parts. They're not, like, on the chains of the turbine or anything like that. And they clearly didn't build this. Right. How do I get over there? Is that a switch right there? Oh, no, it's not. It's just, like, a that little hooker oh, thing right there on the right? I don't think... Yeah, these are just it, decorative. That's just part of their motif. It's the steez, man. Is that a button? Hold on, go back. Look to the left when you get at the top of the stairs. Now look to the right. Let Keep looking. Look. I... Keep going. Oh, that thing? Yeah. Nope, that's a, that's a nut. Yeah. <laughs> I know a nut when I see one. That's a nut. Not. <laughs> this looks out of place like I could pick it up, but it is not. Can you see what it came off of? Is there like a... I'm, I'm thinking it broke off of this It's a, it yeah. a guardrail. Yeah, because there's not one on the other side. Yeah. It's all busted up. What did that go to before it broke? Is there like a thing above you? Not that I can see. There's that. But who knows what that does. Also, look at the other side of the dome in this section. It's like earth trees and earth sky. Yeah. Very earthican colors. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Nope. I'm stuck. There we go. I don't remember which X-Men movie it was. When you said earthican, it made me think of this. Okay. Um, there's a there's a scene in one of the X Men movies with Hugh Jackman. All right. Where uh, a, like police guys have pulled over uh Wolverine, and they're asking him to do something, and he doesn't want to do it. And they're like, "Sir, your country needs you." And he goes, "I'm Canadian." And he drives off. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot about that. I don't. I don't remember what X Men movie it's from or what they were even asking him to do. Or just that right. interaction of him going, "I'm Canadian," yeah. and driving off. You don't know what my country is, Jack. <laughs> Bub. Yeah. Okay. There's clearly a. Con there's, there is a control for this. I have to be able to. This is on a chain or like a pulley system. I have to be able to activate it somehow. But there, as far as I can tell, there is no. Control panel. I can't. I can't kickstart it. It looks I like can't. there's a chain missing off that. Because if you look over the edge, there's well, that, another one of these gear. Oh, the chain is below. Yeah, right, it, it loops around the back. So. What if you? That, uh, what if you ask? That must, real nice. Yeah, that must mean that it is not powered by electricity. It is powered by. That's true. <laughs> Something natural, perhaps? Well, that's a gear right there. It is not connected to anything. It was it was Origins, Quentin. It's the second time we've referenced an X-Men movie and didn't know what it was from, and it ended up being Origins. Well, what was the first thing? Uh, the, the walking at the end. Where, um... I don't know. Jean Grey or somebody possesses somebody's mind and makes them walk and keep walking until they like wear through their shoes. I think Quentin. I don't think I was a part. I don't think I was a part of that conversation. I said something on the uh, on the pod on help me understand about it. Oh, is this a walk? I guess we. I guess we just like X Men Origins. I guess. Okay, here's a new place. Or at least I think it's a new place. Have you? tried like cracking open one of those little pistachios and light lightly salting it and just having a little snack 
haven't. So I could go like, for some pistachios right now. But I'd like to, especially oh, these. These look. look. These look like oh. caramel. Look at the busted open ones. I bet the orange ones are about to turn into bugs. Oh yeah, like they're they're reaching they maturity. The life cycle goes from the smart barnacle to the the drone bug. Oh, I'm down here now. I'm in the I'm in the the work tunnel. What? Does she just this... says you're allowed to be wrong. Sure. What are we wrong about? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of stuff, so you're gonna have to narrow that down. <laughs> Okay. What was the point of this? I don't I don't know. I I can go a lot of places, but I I can't oh, do anything when I get there. Probably about me talking about eating pistachios. Oh yeah. I could go over some pistachios right now, dude. I feel like I like I I don't have a problem with pistachios, but they are kind of the same thing. I have the same issue with pistachios that I have with like wings and too much uh, work, not enough reward. Exactly, yeah, or like crab legs, and I'm like, yes, they're they're delicious, and I love them, and I enjoy them every time I eat them. But I get like three deep, and I'm just like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. I have, I have better things to do with my time. I feel you. I can understand. What about sunflower seeds? They're exactly the same, e uh, to, probably to an even more degree. You know because what I want to get? Such a small food item. I want to get um, one of those. Butter grinders, butter grinder, like to, that makes peanut butter. Okay, yeah. And I want to like make butter out of other kind of nuts. Mmm. Okay, almond butter and kind of stuff. Yeah, like almond butter, pistachio butter. Uh huh. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. Well, oh, okay. I thought there was two people walking back and forth. Oh, I did too. Right as soon as God. you said that, I'm. And a when shot went down my spine. When you were in the middle of saying that looked like two people, oh. I looked out and saw two people, and I'm like, ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, my back just tensed up. I was, I've been so alone this entire game, and seeing two people, I was completely unprepared for it. Oh, he just says, I mean, I've got nothing against pistachios. They got melatonin. I was talking about origins. What did we say about origins? Oh, okay. Don't know. I, I have no idea. It's, I don't remember. This, this entire conversation is so ephemeral. Was What's it me called? saying people like? I guess I guess people like X Men Origins. Oh, that's yeah. Is that one of the ones that's like a bad one? No, because there's some of them that are like real good, and then like there's a couple of them that are like real bad. Again, I'm up here. Why can I get to all these places? I have a and, little snack, and, and I can't do anything. I can't click on anything. Don't have an inventory to speak of. No. I can't. Can I just hit my mic. Sorry about that. There's no other place to go. <laughs> Quentin it goes. The it Deadpool. has the best Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. He's played by Ryan Reynolds. What could uh -huh. go wrong? Yeah. That I was did. that was the one with that was the one with Deadpool in it. Yeah, the one where he said, uh, like, this will this will shut you up or whatever. It, yeah, he, he, like, sealed his totally... mouth shut. If I recall correctly, that role pissed Ryan Reynolds off. I... And he only agreed to play it if he was allowed to make a Deadpool, Ooh. A Deadpool movie later. That's, uh, like, that's a, under... that's a power move right there under his like tutelage yeah and uh that was how the like current deadpool movies started oh there's another there's another sphere it, over there yeah i see it there's also a teleporter thing in it God, I'm trying but like to it, it pissed him off and he was so mad that they did that um i think i think he has a production company called maximum effort so, like, the commercials that he does for Mint Mobile, I think, are produced by Maximum Effort, which is his production company. I think oh, that's okay. how it goes. Yeah. And Maximum Effort is a Deadpool thing. That's what he shouts. It's his battle cry, I guess. Um, he just says, well, so did Green Lantern, and he never did anything about it. Well, they might have some, like, behind-the-scenes thing. I don't right. know. Okay. All right. I, it happened again. You looked up at it, and it happened again. Uh-huh. 
Any any movement. This this world is so still that any things, movement is shocking. Things aren't supposed to move, and when they do, it <laughs> panics me. It vexes me so. Um. So here's a. Hmm. What? How do What's I get? Up? How do I get back? Crank it. Yeah, I guess I would have to go back with this machine and take this one back. Yeah. Back to the past, Samurai Is there Jack? like? Uh, is there like? Anything else around here that you can do? No, I, I, that's the thing that's so confusing. Everywhere I go, I can get there, but I can't do anything. Mm, I don't know what the point was. The only thing I can think of is we need to find a teleporter. Maybe that blue that we saw across the chasm. Yeah. We like, we need to get the. Tr there's a bit of trail or a bit of track on it. We need to get the tractor on it and shoot the laser because it was within view of the laser. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> he just says, I mean, Wade Wilson shoots Ryan in Deadpool 2 before he can take the role of Green Lantern, so there's that. I didn't know that. I actually haven't seen Deadpool 2 yet. I don't, really, I, I don't really think that's a spoiler, so I'm not mad at that about that, but... It's just a funny goof. Okay, so... I mean, it's on going, Disney Plus now, actually, I believe. If we're going by location, it was like over here relative that, to that thing, but I don't think that matters. I, yeah, I don't think that those correlate within the same space. So, so what, what do we you, do now? Uh, yeah, this is, this is... Everything we find just comes to a dead end. Uh-huh. You are missing part of that top rail over in the main area. You are missing a part of that top rail. Top rail, top rail. Top rail, where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. It's, I don't think you can see it from here. It's way over there. Yeah, I think we're in the wrong region to see it. <clears throat> so, okay. Let's, let's revisit the places we have been and see if there's anything new that our what new I'm knowledge... In, what I'm interested in seeing is, is that they said that Deadpool... Mm -hmm. That Deadpool 3... Okay. Is is going to be an MCU movie. So I'm huh. wondering if they're going to introduce uh, Colossus and Screaming Teenage <laughs> Mega Warhead or whatever her right. name is. Yeah. <laughs> if they're just going to be like, oh, well, it's been the MCU the whole time. Or if they're just going to not even mention it. Like, it's Deadpool yeah. 3, and they reference Deadpool 1 and 2, but it's just oh. MCU now, and they never mention it, which is a very Deadpool move. Yeah. Okay, so here's our here's our track over here. Right. And we don't know how to get the cart up there. Uh, we've got the tree. Uh, let's take a look back here. Make sure there's nothing we haven't forgotten about. Because we've opened this door, so we can get in here now. Right. He just says I really need to watch Deadpool 2. I'll watch it tomorrow. Does this I just work? need to watch She-Hulk. Yeah. She-Hulk comes out tomorrow. No, this doesn't Follow work. Follow the yet. line. Follow the cable. It goes down. <laughs> Immediately it, out of view. Yeah, you're right. Uh, my, my dad sent me a video. Okay. I'm trying to remember the name of the actor. It was this old, like, black and white movie. Or maybe it was a show. I'm not sure. I need to go to the message. Buster Keaton. Not that old. Okay. Too far. <laughs> but, uh, James Cagney. I've I've heard that name before. But it was like a it was like a video of these like uh, street I believe, ruffians. I believe he is half of the Cagney and Lacey duo. Maybe I don't know. Why um, can I get up here? What what does this serve? Observation, so you can be ob abducted. <laughs> right. Uh, but it's it's a video of these like street ruffians who go up to uh, James Cagney, and they like steal his wallet, and he like goes to their hideout and he gets his wallet back. And there's this whole bit where they're like, "Hey, listen here, you mugs! Everybody, listen up!" And uh -huh. then, like he like James Cagney goes in there, he's like, "Ah, stick him up!" 
and they're mm-hmm. like, "Oh man, we've this is a real boner," <laughs> <laughs> which is what I'm trying to get to because it's like this old timey things where they're using words uh-huh. that don't mean the same thing anymore. Yep, because it, it like it turns out that James Cagney's character uh, was used to be in the gang of street ruffians when he was a kid. Uh, okay, so he knew where the, he knew where the hideout was and knew where all the shortcuts were to get back there. But like. There's okay. something with this building that we need to do, too. Right. And we also never found how to get into that power substation. Yeah. So, but, uh, Deidre says, have you figured out how to get below yet? No, we No, haven't. we have not. We also haven't really explored in here. Yes, we do. That's where the airplane is. Yeah, here's my mixing bar. But, uh... After they realized that James Cagney's character used to be in the gang... And he's uh-huh. not only used to be in the gang, but he's like a very notorious ex-member. Okay. And they're like, oh, man, I can't believe we just stuck up J- this this guy. Yeah. Flat <laughs> one, of, one, of the, one of the kids in the back is like, oh, this is a real boner. Yep. <laughs> Cracked me up. Because <laughs> like boner used to mean a, a mess up, a screw, a screw up. up. Yeah. Does not mean that anymore. But it, no. it's, it's real. It's real funny significant uh, change in uh in definition now it means an erect penis i do okay yeah nothing new in here i'm digging the vibes of this oh yeah vibes are vibes are on it's, point it's a vibe right now it it definitely a vibe um what to do what to do all right, let's look back here once more. Just make sure there's nothing. Let's look at the fire truck, see if that's changed. Uh-huh. It's around here somewhere. That's just a rock. Here's a fire truck. There's no there's nothing. Can you ring the little bell? Significant. I can't. There's nothing fire significant truck sucks. about Does it come from McDonald's. Yeah. Like do anything. It's just a hunk of plastic. This is the worst Hess truck I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's still worth $8,000. And Brandon has one. Uh-huh. <laughs> so these aren't cut away. Because this is not a perfect sphere. Um, but we have been up there. We've been up there, yeah. Okay. Let's go through Farley's. Take another gander. Playing cards, poker chips. Take that projector and rotate it around the room and see if it points at anything else. That... It lines up there. It lines up with the little open section of the five, making it a six. If that means anything. Yeah. Oh, wait. It has a slide. Oh, boy. Oh. This looks important. Oh, that's how we would have figured out that it was the grid. But I figured it out before that. <laughs> Dude, why does it look like off? Why is it like Yeah, it looks it looks a off bit off. Center. Can you move? You could turn that, rotate that board in the back. Maybe it's like tilted down, you tilt it up. Oh, 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 like bring it up a little bit. There we go. That's a that's a proper. That's what I was hoping it would do. <laughs> okay, so we've got that's, that part. That's that's how we would learn about that. So I guess that's all it's for. Yeah. And it does nothing on this except circle something on the other slide that we don't know what it is telling us. Yeah, I just want to make sure that this didn't outline anything either. And on this one, we get this, which we don't really know. 
what that indicates. It's, oh, it's, I mean, other it's than like the, the mayor's office, I think. I think that's the mayor's office. Maybe? Because it's right under the tower. The tower is where the mayor's office is. Mm, okay. Uh, nothing but else. no, Deidre, we did not figure out how to get below where the mayor's office is, if that's what you're referencing. Um, Go yeah. back. Uh, oh, does the koala have a secret code? Nope, um, it's just a cute little dirty koala. Go, um, go back to the power grid and see if the place where the mayor's office is is lit up. So maybe it doesn't have power. Yeah, that's I mean, what I was wondering, but it doesn't have a it doesn't have an indicator. That's what was so confusing about it, is that uh There's not it, even a light indicator for that section? Right. No. And you can't get down there. You're doing a real boner right now. <laughs> We should bring back boner, like its original meaning. I'm going to leave that one to you, pal. I'm going to say it all the time, and okay, I'm going to use I... it in both definitions, and it's going to be up to everyone else to understand what I mean. So here's what I can do for you. I I will support you, and I won't react adversely to it. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go along with the bit. Uh, so tower, let... tower is where the mayor's office is. Is it? Yeah. Oh. And it has power that th so that's not the issue hold on wait a second maybe there's a breaker somewhere in, in the tower that you need to trip because mm, it's lit up so. it has power yeah because i thought that was the tower what if i use it in both meanings so i was just like man i'm making such a boner right now it's giving me a boner mm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be less happy about supporting <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> please tell us. Uh, <laughs> you do the Jeb Bush, please clap. Please yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, I, I, uh, I, I acknowledge your statement, Logan. My only clue is to touch everything and read what you can. I thought I saw something in the gas station that may be useful to take a picture of. Well, then let's take a picture of the gas station. I don't think. Oh, that's six-digit code. Is there one of these that's all numbers? There is not. Uh, but I like your thinking there. I don't know. I've never done seen a Florida license plate that looks like that. Yeah, honestly. <coughs> uh, these, these, you'd be surprised how close most of these are to Texas plates. Uh, Except the Texas one. Except the which one's Texas? There's not one. I was just oh, okay. Saying. I was gonna say, is there a Texas? You just says cipher. 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 Okay. What does that mean? Um. I'm gonna look up and see what Florida license plates look looked like in 1945. <laughs> Florida license. How would we how would we know which one of these to try? I guess I'll just take a picture of them all and then see what can be done with that. That that seems kind of shotgun brute force. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it, it just seems so. What do we have here? Multi-purpose villain control panel interface. Okay, how we found. Oh, this will tell us to <clears throat> learn how to do the thing that we did already. Uh, the villain numbering numbering system is base four. Drag from one blob to another to form the villain digits. Drag between those blobs to disconnect. The standard panel has five digits, but single digit panels are also used. Only use only use only first digit to simulate a one digit panel zero through three all panels will auto correct for invalid entries <laughs> mm, okay Florida plates did not look like that in 1945 I looked it up gotcha uh, all right let's so see we here. we kind of just deduce that by ourselves yeah okay Kenway Bill Hyman Bale 
Free consultations, auto slip and falls, all other injuries. The telephone. There's a telephone that's not the one. That's not the one with the like code entry on it. But there's that rotary that's just by itself. Yes. Where was that again? I don't. Is it? Does it really look like this Coke bottle has eyes to you? Well, now it does. Thanks. <laughs> it looks like it came out of a Banjo Kazooie game. <laughs> You settle down over there. Um. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? No, what? Um. Garage, downtown, Farley, C Dub, Tower, Sphere, Caves, Junkyard, Bucket. Did that <laughs> say Mula Cola? I wouldn't doubt it. I absolutely Isn't wouldn't. Moolah one of the races? Yeah, it's Moolah Cola. It's missed online. Uh, oh, yeah. What was it? Unlimited or something like that? Or Ultimate. Ultimate Live latency, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate Latency Agency. I mean. Okay, so now can I pop these out? No, I can't. So what's the purpose of this if I can't? I'm pretty sure this is a solved thing. Yeah, but I didn't know if like one of these were going to blow and then I would have to replace them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lay my fingers in the door. It looked like it was going to scrape your nose. Uh-huh. Missed online. That's what, right. You're alive again. Jesus. Not that. Okay. I forgot it was such a silly name. How dare you uh, say such a silly thing to me? Um, we have to go downstairs. We have to go downstairs. How do I? Uh, I don't. I. I'm like. The only thing I have is these license plates, which I think that news ad was maybe the cipher key. That news ad was maybe the cipher key. Five five five. Help you. Four three. Okay. The cipher key for what though? So like four three five is H E L seven nine six eight P Y O U. Yeah. Which is just that's a that's that's just a, general like phone phone letter placement. Uh, T nine stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well then. Let's go back to the high. Oh, the phone. There's a rotary phone right there. There's a phone right there. Do 429 help you and see what happens. Uh, what? Well, I can't remember what it was. Was it 555 help you? I think it was 429. Uh, one, it five, was. One, five, five. Help you. Here we go. We're calling the helpline. One. Five, 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 hey, eh, eh, help, no wait, help, yeah, uh, Ooh. love to be able to see it. Absolutely nothing has happened, Logan. What about that little panel at the underneath does that do anything um, is there like a is it like a switch or a oh you gotta put a quarter in it <laughs> i do gotta put a quarter in it and find a, a receiver quarter? Did you, can i bum a quarter <laughs> okay so i won't be paying you back perhaps that was only there as to a, teach you how to use a rotary phone? Yeah, yeah, I guess. And now we But we need a, we need a six digit code to open that whatever it was. Right, but we have license plates. So we can take the characters from the license plates, translate them through the cipher, try them because those are six digits, try those on the door and see if something happens. Well I knew it wasn't gonna make a call. I didn't know if like a panel would open 
on the phone itself, you know, like a get smart door. Or like, yeah, we type in enough numbers and then a little panel opens up and we find the yellow page to the blue book. <laughs> and then we find the true ending. We go mm -hmm. inside the book without giving it the page first. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Aren't so. you the motherfucker who fucked everything up? You think I fucked everything <laughs> up? I think you fucked everything up. What is this from? That's from uh, Half-Life, but the AI becomes self-aware. figured, okay. There may have been something in the mayor's office. We were joking about the Florida, ta Florida flag. Mm. That's... I wasn't joking. I was genuinely, I genuinely thought it was the Florida flag. Okay. Well, I, we can... I, I never joke. I'm always serious. Super serial. Super D-duper serial. Now, where where is that door? And why can't I find it? Well, it was at the tower. So you need to go to the tree. Find the tree? Yeah, it's like near the tree. See, I thought it was at the end of this walkway. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe those are actually the same place. You and I might be describing the same location. But I'll never tell. Okay, yes, this is what I was talking about. I don't know if this is what you guys were talking about. But... Yeah, this I was talking about the bottom entrance. This is the top entrance. Gotcha. Okay, so here's here's what we have. Let's look at our license plates photos so so there's one that's mostly numbers uh-huh but it is an a in it so what if we do six one nine four one five um let's do this so we have this one here four h all numbers except for the h which we know converts to four so we can turn that one into a full string of numbers right right we could turn all of these into a full string of numbers not necessarily uh, because, like, we don't have a guaranteed, like, these are the letters, uh, assuming this is a correct cipher, um, these are the letters that we know correspond to these letters. But uh, they these also, numbers. but they also line up exactly with a T9 regular phone. They do, yeah, but, like, that's more extrapolation than, like, evidence, so let's go with the evidence first and then extrapolate later. So let's, let's convert the H, which we know is a 4, and then turn this one into a full string of numbers, which is just okay. 441693. All right. And then see, if that doesn't work, we can go to like 3, 1, I don't know what K is. Um, and then we could do the rest. A would obviously be 1, so this would be the easiest one to do, 619415. I've so brought we'll do... up my, phone, my cell phone's... T9 number dialing thing, so I can your, tell you what any number means. Your cellular, tellular phone? Uh, I need to get... Way so it was 4416... 4416- 9-3, I think? 4416-9-3, four, four, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got... 1-2-3-4. 1-2-3-4. One, three, correct? Uh, yes. Three, zero, nine, nine, eight, seven, six. Nothing. Nothing doing. All right. So, that's that was my theory. So, yours is to... Oh, I didn't have a theory. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I will say, unless you want to try all 10, I believe there is a way to tell which one it is. Oh, you're right. There was there was a license plate on the, ta on the table in the mayor's office. There was. And I cannot for the life of me remember which one. I feel like it was red. I feel like it was red, but I have no idea. Well, let's try that. Uh, give me B and K. B is two and K. Oh, hold up. All right. This doesn't actually line up with what they said it was. Is it not? <laughs> no. Why not? 
because um one in my phone is asterisk or oh, voicemail. You're right. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So let me let me let me look up what like let me hold on. I think that mm, yeah. Did they rearrange T9? If they did and I'm completely unaware of it, that's nuts. Uh no, no, one is nothing. It's always been nothing. Okay. Unless so that... this game unless in this game it's not nothing. And I don't remember what there. Did we take a picture of that rotary phone? The rotary phone? No. Um but so it would unless, follow this. unless this game does not follow what the typical letters have been uh-huh. forever. Uh I say let's let's give it a shot with the with the assumed rules with the like real life, yeah. One. So okay. what do you remember? What, what are those? B and K, Bravo and Kilo. Bravo is two and Kilo is five. Three two five two four seven. Three two five two four seven. One two three. Two. One two three four five. One, two, three, four, zero, nine, eight, seven. Okay. Wasn't Missouri. Sorry to tell you. So let's go back Man, to the mayor. Yeah, let's just like go there and look. Hop on down. I don't remember where that is. Me either. The mayor's office is behind the tree. I think that's why the phone is out there. Deidre makes a very good point. Yeah, let's let's stop at the let's stop at the mayor's office and look at what the license plate is. Is there? And let's uh-huh. go back to the rotary phone and see if theirs matches the real life equivalent. Right. Because okay. it could be different. That yeah, I hadn't even considered that that the phone arrangement would be different. Where do I need to go? I'm lost. Uh, go this that way? way. I feel like I came from this way. This is in the direction of the rotary phone, at least. Why is that one red? That's what I keep looking at. It's red. Why is it red? There's no reason for it to be red. It's the only red one. Why is it red? Maybe it's just red. Yeah. Is this the mayor's office? This is to mayor's office. Yeah. Or eight DC DC DT. So he has his own plate. Okay. What is that? that. Four eight Delta. Also, uh, a dramatic state has played. The Minecraft cave music just kicked in. Yeah. Also, does he have like a carving of the barnacle husk? Oh, I thought it was kissy lips. I don't know why I thought that. Or does that serve a similar purpose to this? Maybe it goes over that. (laughs) I was making a joke about his dingus, but okay. Uh, Also, I can't pick it up. Look at the compass for me again. The compass... I got, I got two compasses. I'll show you this one, which is going nuts. And has has the markings that you would expect. This planet's magnetic north is fucked. And then we got this one. Is this one fucked too? It spells nose. No, it's broken. Oh, what's the back look like? Flip it upside down. I, I, okay, there it goes. It keeps going. Is really hard to flip over. And nothing back here on this one. What about yeah. the other one? I'm going to try and flip the other one over. Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Can I, can I press these buttons? I don't know. Did, if, this were, if this were the room, you could. Yeah. Can I take this thing apart? All right. Look at your pictures. Bitches. Going through the pitches. Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Yep. One R two nine five eight. R. Uh, two. 
958? Correct. I get the feeling that uh, Deidre is so, spoon feeding this, this, this to us. Hey, listen, we didn't have anywhere to go. I take I, it. Oh, I'm not rejecting it. We absolutely <laughs> needed it. So go sure. back and look at go back and look at the rotary phone. Yep. Because I want to make sure that it doesn't match real life. Yeah. This is one of the puzzles I solved, and y'all were one one wandering a bit. I appreciate it. There it is. She says wandering a bit, but I think she meant wandering a bit. I could be wrong. All right, let's let's take a look here. Yep, follows the rules. Nothing yep. on one. A B C D E F uh, G H I J K L M N O P. Although on no my Q. mobile on my mobile phone, uh huh. Q is seven. Right. And um, Z is nine. Yeah, I I think that is. I mean, Q, seven is just four characters. Yeah. Okay, so we that was still correct, but we were using the wrong one. And more to the fact, it wasn't one of these. We it is. We, it's the Minnesota one. Well, it's either that, but why did he have his own on the? On I the have desk? I have both written down. So, even if it is Minnesota, I want to try both. Let's try the non-Minnesota one and then yeah. try the Minnesota one. Also, I'm lost, as usual. Uh, turn right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. I can't go through there. Scary poster. Bah. <laughs> bah. <laughs> I keep thinking of that YouTube poop of the boggle with uh, boggle <laughs> Peggy like doing her half reversed efforts. She's uh, 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 <laughs> That is my favorite YouTube poop. Yeah. For me, it's um, it's iCarly. It's the iCarly bagel, uh, YouTube poop. That is just an absolute all star. Some of these puzzles change, so I couldn't and wouldn't tell you the answer completely. I appreciate that. I, th I feel you've done the correct thing by giving us ample time, and then just be like, "All right, they're not, they're not getting it. They're just not gentle getting it. prodding, gentle prodding." Right. We've given them enough time. They are just not going to get it. Wasting everyone's time and energy and bandwidth with this live stream. I think the not plate mine. on his desk We're is supposed to lead you to the wall. Really? Right. And that would lead you to the newspaper. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do... Okay, so the first one from his desk... Uh huh. Is four eight D C T D. Correct. Which would be four eight three two eight three. Okay. Uh, so say that again. It was four four eight uh, zero nine eight two. Is the next character? Uh, two four eight two. Oh, we've already fucked it up. It's Have three. we now? Yep. All right. It's, it's three. Well, what do you know? That wasn't right. Man, we really bonered that. <laughs> we sure did, Logan. And we I'm not sure telling did. you which way I mean. Hmm. Uncomfortable. Four, eight, two. Fuck, you three. <laughs> Four, eight, three. God damn. I, I wrote down two. That's why I said that. Okay. Four, what? eight. The next digit. Three. Two. Now it's two. Now it's two. Eight. Three. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay. He still doesn't like it. So now okay. the actual Minnesota. Which is one R. R is seven. Two. Uh, two. Nine. Five. Uh, two, three, four, five. Eight. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Some, something's now push the boot Okay, we have a functioning elevator. Heck is yeah, this dude. is this the one in the mayor's office though? Are we gonna be in the mayor's office now? It sure enough is. And watch what I can do. 
I can keep on going down. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Find this freaky, weird George O'Keefe paint. Uh, Plumbus. Sculpture. Yeah. It's an uh, old-timey radio. Oh, I love to talk on the radio. And a disgusting turlet with this. It smells minty fresh. Yeah, and the oldest laundry you've ever seen in your life. He just says the state changes for sure. I had Ohio when I played, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? That's neat. I appreciate that so much that the the puzzles are not, are not the same. Where's Brandon? We can show him an actual trumpet. Uh-huh. All these years later. Is it? It is very quiet, nearly inaudible. Oh, I can hear it. And here's the here's the thing. The thing. The door controls. Now we can get to the tree. We can get to the tree. The tree. We can take a That's nap. A freshly folded shirt. Uh huh. <clears throat> I could see you wearing a shirt like that. A white Who, button me? up. A, well, yeah, a white button up with some like light big patterns green, on the front. Big green pants and, yeah. a, and a butt for a chin. Looking like a looking like a, a line chef with your wacky pants. I was trying to do Peter Griffin. Okay, I see. <laughs> Boy, I really pulled a boner there, huh? <laughs> you really bonered that man. Okay, so I've already turned on the water in a in a previous thing. Oh, I don't like this at all. I like it a lot. Let's go. We are going down to the heart of this tree. Let's uh, do it. Why does this make me nervous? I roll up. Let's go. <laughs> why does this makes me feel like the the tree of truth from whatever Luke Skywalker did? Oh, we gotta say it. Go into the trussy. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm turning this. No. <laughs> no. Lower. Too low. <laughs> Lower. Oh, I don't like this at all. Uh, so far down here. This is the heart. And one of those weird water, like, bell chime horror song things. Yeah. A theremin. This thing's like the friggin' Thorian oh, okay. from Ma oh, okay. And now we're in nowhere space. With now we're in space. With a a few the, uh, the pipe the tubing! Right. I can't I can't do anything with it. <clears throat> also a green line? Why is a green line? It goes through the gate. Looks like an Ethernet cable. Do the do the power cables kinda come up in here? Maybe they come up and poke up into here? Oh, turn that crank. There's a crank right there where the water is. Oh, there's so much to do here. There's a handset. Hello? Oh. They, they've turned the tree into a friggin' like, potato battery. So we're, like, harvesting the fluid. What? Okay. The glow must flow. All right. Oh, it's, it's just water. It's glowy, it's pouring, though. It's pouring into here, not being taken out. Okay, so now we are feeding this the heart of this tree. Okay, I'm glad that that water stopped rising, because I was about <laughs> to be like, uh... <laughs> Time to uh, go. Uh, what's our voltage look like? We got, we got no voltage. It's creeping. Is it? Yeah, oh, it slowly. is. Look at that. But why four? Um, it's generating power. For what? Uh, I don't. I don't have those answers. Do the are the gates open now that the tree is online? <laughs> God, what a ridiculous sentence you just said. I mean, it's not inaccurate. <laughs> no, it isn't. That's why I love video games so much. Oh, red. It's a red line. And this has juice going to it and a, uh, 
and I can see through it. If there's we're more, at, we're in the fucking Zen levels of Half Life One right now. Yeah. I just needed y'all to get to the new area before the night end. Yes, thank you very much. There's a new a tree online. It's alive again. <laughs> okay, and here's red. Well, why see what is, it? What does that mean? Are we gonna do the green ending or the red ending? <laughs> I mean, I could see the tree through the other end of that. Okay, let's let's go through green because it has a red like, cable, and we've seen a red cable before. So when you look through, you could see the tree on the other end. Right. Like that's so, the tree back there. So you know what this is? These are paired uh, swap. Oh, it's not this tree. It's one of the trees on the four other planets. There yes. are four trees. Right. It's one of the the the, the other the planets. Four four way the swapsies, whatever. This you're this right. Incredible. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm playing Elite Dangerous. Well, I I cannot I cannot traverse the green. Can we traverse the red? Um There should be another portal then. There is. There's this one. With blue. Blue portal, green pipe, yellow wire. Yeah. What what are you what are you making that noise for me for? Okay, My dog is in here just making a noise. Okay, I don't think. Green pipe, yeah, I, green wire, red portal. Right. But why four? Yeah, I don't think we are meant to interact with this just yet. I so, bet something's happening to the tree up top too. Yeah, that's where I'm headed next. This isn't uh, this isn't Rick and Morty. You can't just take the portal willy nilly. <laughs> it's not like one of the uh, Acme black holes. You can just fold it up and put it in your pocket. Oh, that's a. That's a noise. Did it stop you from moving when that yeah, it's got a little, popped up? It's got a little load moment there. It go, it's just like, hold on. Just, just hold on. Oh, it went from red to green. The tree, the leaves are green now. Yeah, they are. They were, they were red before. <clears throat> yeah, they were. Maybe on the other planets, we need to feed the trees there, too. Yeah, we do. Before we can move back and forth. Yeah, we can. But why, but why four? Uh, I don't know alive again so tree is alive what does that afford me let's go talk to the man in the in the tube See, what did he want us to do again I've, I've completely forgotten at this point I don't even know where he is he's here he was like, over here he's like I'm crabby and you're alive <laughs> dang it I didn't ask for this Okay. Battery cable plugged in. Okay. You, yeah, it was on. I remember you plugged it in and then you unplugged yeah. it and then walked away. Because we, yeah, we weren't sure what it did or if it I was. I still don't, I still don't know what it does. I, uh, I'm clueless on that one. Uh, it's upstairs here. Yeah, and then you kind of like hang a right. Yeah. And then it was bing bong. So there you go. It's connected, pal. Hold on. That's a smoker. <laughs> All right. Don't reverse plug polarity. New plug. Got it. So yeah, these are the whatever markers. Popped off charge. So that's 24 units, 20 units, 
21 units. 14, no, 34 units. No, 24 units. Uh, 40 to 60 is 20. 60 to 79 is 19. So, I don't know what that tells us. Um, I'm going to go talk to him again now that I've connected connected that and see if he yeah. has anything else to say. Because I'm wondering if he's our like gentle suggestion of what to do. Like in-universe kind of waypoint navigator. Right. side of the battery. Is this a battery? Is this thing a battery? Okay, I wonder if the cable that's draped over the rail is what he's talking about. And then that, I could see that as a very large energy storage. Much like a battery. Yeah. So, that's the thing he wants us to connect. We ain't got no methods of doing so. And what in the world does this do? I still have no idea what... What we can get from this. Yeah. Although, there is another place that does the same thing. There's this... Over... Here... That has this spout to pour. So we could back the thing up to here, but this is boarded up. So we're not getting anything out of that, I don't think. So... Uh, this isn't really a hint-driven game. You're kind of supposed to wander and see it all to connect the things as you go and double back and such. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's how Mist was. It was pretty unforgiving just kind of put things together as you go. Right. So... Is there anything to be done with these tubes? I don't think so. I'm gonna go down here one more time. Take another look. Wait for a brief load. This is a little load zone. Yeah. Let's see what our wattage or our voltage is at. It's still. It's like it, is it going back and forth? I don't know. Or did it, did it reset because we left? That's a silly thing to think. Or does it... Oh, you know what? Hold on. It's going to take a does, second. Does it actually mean anything? When it reaches a certain point, does it discharge? Like, is it trying to... Is it reaching a certain voltage... And then arcing out to discharge. I, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a very long wait. Like I I don't I don't want to waste too much time, but there's really no. You know what you can to... do while you're waiting. What's that? Leave and come back in. Go through that oh, loading zone it... and come back in. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because you can get out and back in before that thing fills up all the way. Right. And it's right about here, I think. Nope, I was wrong. Here. And then we'll come back. 
CW will nudge you in a vague, vague direction for the major major plots, but won't give you much in the way of finessed hints for actual puzzles. So this should be. No, we we have continued to climb. Huh. Hmm. Can you turn the water off? I can. I'm afraid to. For fear that we will lose the progress that we've made on this charge. Still nothing there. You're at ten volts. I assume those are regular volts, not microvolts, kilovolts. I don't have any control for this. There's an open one. What's our voltage at? Okay. We are at approaching 12 and a half. About four fifths of the way there. A momentary check in. Still nothing. Hmm. This is a, this is a very boring uh, approach to this puzzle, but it'll it'll eat at me if I don't at least try this once. We we need to find out what happens because it's on it's it's on a scale. It's clearly building. It's collecting energy. What happens when it tops out? Okay, it just discharged. What happened? I didn't hear any noises or anything. N there was nothing. It got to about maybe 13 volts and then and then discharged. It might also just mean nothing. It might just be something to look at. Turn off the water. See what happens. Oh, no. I you. cannot turn off the water. Okay. What? What is it? Was it trying to tell me? There's also like a button on the handset, which I feel like I should be able to press. But nothing. It's like they're using that handset just to like move power through. It's not like it actually. Yeah, it's just anything. Just a conduit. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm rightly stumped. I yeah, I am open to suggestions at this point. I can... I'm wondering what happens if we go to the other swap spots now that our tree is charged? Now that our tree is online, to borrow your parlance? Yeah, let's, let's, go, to the, uh, let's go to the barnacle zone and see if something is different there. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. That, does, that seems like a, like a wild guess and it might not even be right. Right. I mean, that's that's where this all starts, is just wild guesses, and then you, you figure out how wrong you are and how right you are. Um, also, I think you should focus on trying to get that red beam shut off on the other planet, since that's what starts. That's what uh, since that's what you started with here. That sounds like a great idea. So let's go back to the barnacle zone. I can't remember how to get there. The only thing that I could think of is hitting it with a blue laser. And we've been firing it as hard as we can. Right. Uh, we need to... Here's our sub. Yeah, here's the sub. No doms. Subs only. Right. I... I went the wrong way. You think they ever made that joke on set of whatever Fast and Furious movie had a, had a submarine in it? <laughs> where it was doms and subs? I, I don't know. I feel like 
I feel like cops only. It's very dangerous. You're right. I feel like um, I can't remember the guy's name. Vin Diesel's Vin the Diesel. kind of person. I feel like Vin Diesel's the kind of person who'd be really annoyed if you made jokes like that. Yeah. Like he wouldn't laugh. He'd just stare at you. He's just like, come on, man. We're all just trying to do a job here. Yeah, we'll show we were, up on time. Now we were family. Um. Okay, now. Yeah, I'm and kidding. in shape, please. Right. Remember your lines. Jesus Christ. You only have one of them. <laughs> Drive the car. Stay the line. Family. The whole class cheers. <laughs> okay, so this is how we get back here. Say the line, Vin. <laughs> my mom says, do you know it's midnight? I did not. Oh, my God. I did not know it was midnight. Midnight. I knew. We're going to take a quick look around this swap spot. And then uh, and then we'll be, we'll be out of here. We'll get you on with your evening. Go on with your bad self. Now we here. Okay. Uh, now we do this. Ding. Now we do. I don't, I don't think that's actually necessary yet. Until we until we blow up that red. Hey pal. He's just chilling. Yeah. Chillin like a villain. Whatever their species is called. I gotta write that down for the next stream title. <laughs> yes, you do. Ah, oh, there's so much stuff over there I can't get to. Look for stuff that's out of place in this world. Yeah, I see like it. Like that. <laughs> uh huh. There's another chunk that I just walked through that's not supposed to be here, and I, I don't know what to do with it. This stuff you can reach. I can reach. I can fight. Can't do it. I can't interact with those in any way, in, in any way that matters. Near the beam, got it. Deidre is getting the smallest <laughs> taste of what it's like to to try to give me hints and suggestions. Near the beam, Clay. Yeah, this is like Shelby um, when Tunic when she got up came in the room and pointed at the screen and says, here, <laughs> look right there. Tee <laughs> So. Near to beam. This. This. Uh, um, no additional walkways for me to go down. We've got this, which... Seems unusual, to be honest. TB, TBH. Don't see a way that I can... Can you stand in front of the beam? I can't, actually. I'm trying to remember, it's been a while, so I'm trying to look as you are. Okay. Well, if you see anything, slam on your keyboard, and I will stop moving. Make sure you press the enter key to get, or else I won't see it. And that's not even a guarantee. Right. To, to improve your pedals. To improve your chances that I will see it. Yeah. What are these little pedals? I are think like, these are scales that come off the flag. Oh. Uh, but they're not any kind of like visual indicator. With that right. big wheel. Big wheel. And this, which looks like it's out of place. Maybe look for displaced orbs. Yeah, so far I think we've only found... That one we can't reach. The one. 
And then come down here. Right and now also, we're underneath the laser, right? It's like above us? I uh, uh, believe so. So if we can get this, that laser shut off, we can walk through that portion that we can turn the bridge to. Right. That's the that's the the mission right now is get that laser disabled. This looks like the greats when you're leaving Disney World that only go one way. It looks like if they were to spin in opposite directions, you just get crushed. Oh yeah. Okay, can't do anything there. Displaced orbs, displaced orbs, displaced orbs. Wait. Wait. That look displaced back there. Go back. Just walk backwards. Don't even turn around. He just uh, says the same thing. How, how far back am I walking? Right there, right there, right there. Here? Like that little, there's like a plate on the wall right there. Go forward a little bit. Uh, See that like the crap on the wall to your right not not here yeah you're talking about that that, that slab that, up there the, the one that's directly to your left not up there but like right right next to you yes this that looks out of place well Deidre's saying wait go back you say wait go back I got Uncle Mel further, further back for me uh, at the top of the wooden stairs. There's Quick one top. Here. Yeah. There's the barnacles here. Yeah. Oh, top of the wooden stairs. So technically here. More. More! There's this. Is this something I can interact with? Look at to beam. It's above you. Oh, the, the laser beam. Yes, I'm looking at the beam. Beam origin. Uh, I, I cannot see the beam origin from here. I'm not sure what you're trying to tell me. Can you back up and see the beam origin? Um, I'd have to get on top of this, this metal fixture to do so. Are we too stupid for this game? I don't I saw a dirt sphere. There, there technically is one there, but we have removed it. There, there was one that would be there. That was blocking our direct access to the beam. Right, and we sent it back to the, um... The mines where it came from. So Mira, Mur Mura. I can't remember. Um, so we could go to the mines and put that one back to there. The mines where the cart is. I don't know if the cart can get into that though. I don't know, but I think I see what she's saying. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to do this tonight, or else we'll never understand what we were trying to do. And I, also, I've gone the wrong way. I'll try to make it quick. I don't... I don't know if where that dirt patch way is... I don't know if that's a place that the cart can go. Uh, it, we can it's, look. It's but all we have. For, it's it's our only mechanic for now. So what we'll do is we'll go back on this one and then swap the one that's in the mines right now with the with that one out there which should bring the oh, shoot, the laser back into our world uh 
Oh, uh, she said she was wrong, but I blasted past it, fa past it fast enough that she thought she saw something. Okay, so. We're going to take this back to where it should be. Also, why is this... This one's gold. Okay, so we put that one back where it belongs. It's good to be back, Cotton. <laughs> I know last Wednesday the cart came to a dead end at a sphere in one of the mine shafts. She's absolutely it right. It did. It did, She's but is that the one we replaced? Right. Is that the one we replaced? I don't know, but that's our only it's our only mechanic that we have right now. All right, so let's go back to that. It's like inside that room. Yes, I can't figure out how to get down. <laughs> the same problem I have with this game is I can't... I'm too high and I can't get down. Too large. Okay, so this will get me... It'd be faster if you went through the loop de loo I don't... Yeah. Uh, yes, you're right, it is. I always think this is going to drop me down right in the middle of town, and it doesn't. Okay, all right. This is great. We got something going. We got a plan of action. Hopefully, it's not another dead end. If it is, that's that's just more at least we'll know. Yep. All right, this will take us by the wet rocks, which is close enough. Pretty close, yeah. Cut, cut through the wet rocks here. Turn left. Oh yeah. Yeah, cut through the wet rocks. Oh wait, that's a that's a portal, isn't it? Uh, no, nope, this ain't yes, it. Yes, that just leads me back to the wall. This ain't it. It's a real boner you pulled there. Ah oh, man, I'm really bonering it up. I must be getting sleepy. Yeah. You have a problem with boners when you're sleepy? You don't even, you don't even know half of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a nice half boner when you're sleepy. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right, see that uh, on the left there, that hole on the left? Don't this one that. here that I'm looking at? Yeah, because the cart can go in here. It can. Go down I there. Just, I just have to remember which... Where did we repair? Because we put something back, right? Yeah. It's in this building, I believe. No, that's the power building. Isn't just it? The, okay, let's go ahead and get our, our cart out. Since we know we're going to need we it. We also anyway. need to make sure that the cart is facing the correct direction. That's true. Uh, I'd say let's let's at least test our theory so that we're not wasting time. If we can get it there at all, we know we can get it there facing the right direction. We've got a 50% chance it's facing if the we, right direction. If we right get now. it there and it's facing the wrong direction and we save at that point, then we'll, we'll know what to do next week. Yes, we'll at least be aware of the complication. <laughs> So, uh, what do you think? Keep going. Into keep going. This one here yes. on the right. If I remember correctly, there was an orb in our way here. Uh huh. And now there isn't. Yes. Oh my god. Which we park it right next to this. Oh and my god. Now, how do I get out of this? Is is a real Let's question. You can just activate it from here, I think. Oh, you can oh, yes. Oh my god, you're right. Um, gotta pull the lever on the left. Taking this train car across the gap. Oh, it's all red. Doodly doodly do.
You just, okay. there's, no, there's so much in this game, no shame in getting lost. It's going to happen a lot. I just also have, I've learned in the past five years that I have a terrible sense of direction. Look at that. Now I just need to back her up just a skosh. And then yeah, you on. should be able to just fire over there. It doesn't even Ka -ding. matter what direction you're facing. Right, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say is by design. No, wait. I need to get a look at y'all. Okay. And... Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit longer than a split second. Yeah. The dome. It's melting. All right. Yes. Progress. Now, we take this bad boy back. Can I get out? I can't get out, can I? No, okay. no. You need to take the long way back. Okay. So bing. To bang. Well, let's beam in the world. Beam team. Hey, Logan. Yep. Beam team. Beam team. Beam team. Beamng.drive. <laughs> Team. Team. I know you like that game. It's fun. S sleep now, yes. We're gonna we're gonna park the truck. Here's where I think we should end it. Okay, where's that? I think we should we should go back to the alien world, turn the bridge, and face ourselves right at that entrance. Turn. And don't go through. Turn the... Br Wait, what are you saying? Go back to the other planet. Okay. Turn the bridge to where it's pointing at that section that we can walk through with. Oh, right. Okay, yes. I know exactly what you're saying. And then save, like, right in front of it. Don't go in it. All right. Then, yes, we can make that happen. Because if uh, we don't do that, we're not going to remember. <laughs> right. I, I agree. I agree. Oh, uh, I'm lost. I'm so lost. Okay, this way. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay. That'll Everything take looks you the up. same. <laughs> I can't that'll take remember. you up by the that'll take you up by the loop de loo. Right. And then we you got... go around back up there to the top part, which will take you to where the teleporter is. Okay. I love the confidence with which I just walk into solid rocks now. Oh yeah, you're straight up Harry Pottering that thing, man. Right. There's no hesitation in my stride. Sphere block of the game. Yeah, uh, that was key knowledge. Uh, it would have taken me another hour to remember that. And the award for coolest scene transition goes to abduction. So, what you would like to do is rotate yeah. once. Yeah. Walk up to that. Rotate one more again. One more again. And now, just we'll walk up to that and. Oh, there's stuff on the other side. Oh, 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 and then save here. What a horrible time for my internet to cut out. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I just walked back and forth on it. Oh well, I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay, we've saved the game. Uh, Deidre says I don't remember much anymore, and now I've got puzzle brain. <laughs> you got that puzz brain, bro? Oh, yeah. Got the brain puzz. <laughs> brain puzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All righty. Well, that's that's going to do it for us here. Uh, the beam team will be back next week. Um, 
What did I say? Oh, chilling like a villain is what I need to write down for this. Yeah, the, but we need to time. find the like proper spelling. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, it's pretty late, so short outro tonight. Thank you very much. Thank super hyper uh, extra mega thanks to Deidre for the for the necessary knowledge to complete some of these puzzles. Super D duper thanks. Yeah. And the, next time, um, and the next time Toast is in chat, we need to thank him for boosting the server. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks for that, pal. Um, but yeah, so uh, tomorrow night is, I think you and Shelby playing Stray? Uh, yeah, yep, that's exactly what it is. The, that's, the, that's the current plan. Cat game. Cat game. Beam team. Hey, Clayton, do you think Shelby is watching right now? She might be. Oh, okay. I'll tell you off stream then. Okay. <laughs> She sometimes I will go into the room and her phone will be a way, like her phone will be lit up with the screen that says this the stream has ended and sometimes it'll be on TV and some sometimes her phone will be dead so <laughs> it's 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 any one of those three she falls asleep to it right exactly yeah all right I'll tell you uh, off stream then okay well uh, that's it for tonight so thank you very much <laughs> uh, for watching and we will see you back here tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern as we play some more video games. Have a good night. Good night.